So what shall Miss Regal? Is it time now to close up by Yahweh with thanksgiving with praise? Whatever you are tonight, this is Abba Yahweh. Sabbath day blessing. Shabbat shalom to all of you, no matter where you are. Asking Abba Yahweh for blessing, for guidance, for healing. And asking Abba Yahweh, Salam to all of you, my beloved. The Abba Yahweh, peace be with you. Israel, no matter where you are, let's enter into our bayah where get with this given. If my people, if my people who are called by my name mm -hmm. will humble themselves, humble themselves and pray mm -hmm. and seek my face mm -hmm. and turn from their wicked ways, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear. Then I will hear, I will hear and forgive my people, my their people, sins. not everybody, we'll but only my people. And my eyes mm. will be open. Mm -hmm. My ears will hear. Mm -hmm. Then I will heal. I will heal. I will heal. Yahweh will heal, not the For doctor, now not the scientist. To sanctify this house. That my name may be on this house for mm -hmm. My eyes and my heart will be there perpetually. As for you, if you walk before me, walk the Torah walk, as your father David walked the Torah walk. Mm -hmm. Then, and if you do according to all I command, all I command, not some. If you keep my statutes and my judgments, I will establish the throne of your reign, and my kingdom will be forever. Le Olam Le Olam yes, Hallelujah. Thank you, Abba Yahweh, forever. No matter where you are, is it time now to come before our by our way mercy seat to ask him for forgiveness, to ask him for guidance? Because our by will not give you nothing without forgiveness. Our by must forgive you before he gives you anything. Seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and all his righteousness. And everything will add unto you, my friend. But you must seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh. It's not to seek your own greed, your own selfishness. But to seek up by Yahweh kingdom and all his righteousness. It's a package deal. That is the only way to receive a blessings, healing. Whatever you asking up by Yahweh to receive, you must obey Yahweh's commandments. If you love me, you will obey my commandments. And anything you ask my Father in my name, it should be given to you. If you love me, you will obey my commandments 
in anything you ask my father in my name he will give it to you there's a condition everything not something ask me anything just like Yahweh said to Shlomo ask me anything you want I will give it to you what is the promise how many of you When they send it to my slave. Thank you, Abba Yahweh, for your city part day. I wish every day would be a Sabbath day. No matter where you are tonight, no matter if you feel like everything upside down with you, it is for your good. Abba, is it for those I love? I chastise them. We pray I discipline them. The I rebuke them. Just like an earthly father chastise, discipline, rebuke his own children. Just think about that. Yahushua is the answer for all your problems. Whatever happened in your life, Yahshua has the answer for all your problems. No matter sickness, addictions, calamity, diseases, disasters, poverty, no matter what it is, Yahshua is the only way, my friend, for your salvation. That's why it's the only way the person who can resolve all kind of problems you have. Sickness, evil spirit, addictions, everything. Yeshua Hamashiach sure is the answer for all your problems. All your calamity, all the disease you happen to you, whatever happened to you in your life. Yeshua. Yeshua HaMashiach is the answer for all your problems. No matter where you are tonight, you might be finished the Sabbath before the time is over. I always say sundown to sundown. About anyone who no left over, the street Yeshua Hamasiah. Keep Yeshua, keep their eyes fixed on you. That's the only one way to be protected and be saved. Let Abaya will be your shield. Stop by learning, by depending on your own understanding. It start by doing I, 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 I. It start by saying Yahweh. If it's that your will, let your will be done. On earth as it is right now in paradise. For all your problems, for all your calamities, for all your disasters, for all your diseases, for all your sickness, Whatever is going on into your life, Yeshua already know your problems. He have the answer. Nobody else can have the answers for the Yeshua. Is it time now for you to communicate with your Father, with your Creator, with your Maker? If you have the faith to be smarter as the mustard seed, you can ask in the mountain to move and the mountain will obey and nothing will be impossible for you. Hallelujah, Abba Yahweh. 
Thank you for your city part day. Thank you for your blessing day. You see, there is only one way for anybody to receive any blessing. If they keep their feet from polluted and from defile your day of ways, the Sabbath day, keep their feet from doing any evil. And by the way, those who are willing to be obedient, have a mercy, have a compassion upon them. The children of Israel, no matter where you are, is the time now. The line is open to asking your Creator. Don't beg Yahweh, don't pray Yahweh, asking Abba Yahweh. Whatever you want, the door is open. Abba Yahweh give you opportunity to talk to Him. This is your time now. Come on. No matter where you are, talking to your Father, talking to your maker, every conversation with him. There is a difference between prayer and asking. Don't pray Abba Yahweh. Just talking to Abba Yahweh. Every conversation as a father of a students. Not between a master and a servant, but between a father and a son. A father and a daughter. The line is open for every one of you, no matter where you are on the four corner of the earth. Is it time now to enter into Yahweh great with thanksgiving? Is it time now to ask in up by Yahweh to protect you and to bless you and to provide for you for the week to come? Is it time now? To ask in Abba Yahweh for forgiveness of your sin. For all the time you've been being lived in ignorance and arrogance. Now is the only time Abba Yahweh open up all the doors and the window of paradise. And all the lie on the telephones, they are opened. Just if a nice communication with your Creator, your Father. His name is Yahweh. Remember, you must call him by his name, Father Yahweh, Abba Yahweh, to answer your questions, to listen to you. It is a must. Come on, the children of Israel. Come before Abba Yahweh, your maker, your creator, asking him. Talk to him. Every communication with your maker, with your creator tonight, the light is open. Are you really want to have a conversation between you and your creator? The time is now. The light is open. I we will listen to you. Go ahead. Talk to your creator. Don't beg in him. Don't pray him. Talk to him. He's your father. Just talk to your father. Every nice conversation with your creator. Are you feel sorry for the way you live in your life? For the sin you commit against him is not between you know what you was doing. Because that was the tradition you was for yourself in the tradition of men. I always say, I will have a mercy to whom I choose to have a mercy. And I will have a compassion to whom I choose to have a compassion. Let Abba Yahweh mercy. Let Abba Yahweh love. of your sin and heal you from all your sickness. Let Abba Yahweh set you free tonight by asking for forgiveness and promise for you to change 
the way you live in your life. And by our way, is very compassionate, Father. Nothing in this world can super with your love for you. But your sin has been separated between you and your great angel. What the law of Moses cannot be doing, he was, he was weak. You can receive justifications, salvation, and mercy. And Yahshua name, the only name give above. And men can receive salvation. As they say, there is a lot of ways seem to be good in the sight of any man. But just remember one thing. Asking yourself, what is the end of it? The end of it is nothing but dead. For the ways of sin is dead. For the gift of Yahweh is eternal life. And Yahshua Hamashiach, the only name give above, any man can receive salvation. Hallelujah, the light is still open, don't give up. Come on, keep on going. Let Abba Yahweh hear your voice. Talk to your Creator. Don't be ashamed. Tell your Creator is you are to forgive of your sin, to give you a new mind, a new spirit. May Abba Yahweh have a compassion, the mercy upon you. Abba Yahweh say, you have a mercy and compassion to a thousand of generations to those who love him and obey his commandments. We already know your need. He says, Seek you first the kingdom of Yahweh and all his righteousness. Then, when? Then everything will add end to you, my friends. No matter where you are, the wave you get in your life is to set you apart. Is to cleanse you, is to purify you, is to sanctify you, is to make you set apart in the sight of our prayer way, not to destroy you. No matter where you are, the children of Israel, the light still open, don't give up, stay there, keep on talking to your creator, to your maker. It's one of the million times that's happened. Let's up by our way. Listen to your voice tonight. The lie is open. Every conversation. Tell up by our way how you feel like. A shame of yourself. Because you do not know. Up by way, we have mercy upon you. Mr. Ashwa say you do not come in to come righteous. But you come to call sinners. For repentance from their wicked ways. If you feel like tonight you are in need of Yahshua, you are lost. Call upon Yahshua Hamashiach. There is nothing too big and too small for our by Yahweh. He's a father of love. Come on, Israel. Take the path. This is your lucky day. This is your time now between you and your Creator. Forget about who's around you, where you are. Talk to your Creator. If you have to cry, cry. 
If you want to roll over the grounds, do it. Let Abaya will see you as sowing. Let me see as you are see the blood he was filled and God go tie was not in vain. Because you is an ignorant because of the tradition of men. So that's why I said two thousand people, Father, forgive them because they do not know what they're doing. Forever, the line is still open. Don't give up. Don't let the line close on you. Keep on talking to your Creator. Keep on every conversation with your Creator. Test your Creator all you feel. Are you hurting Him and asking Him for forgiveness? Because you will not understand what is going on. Because you've been misled and deceived by your pastors, by your ministers, by your elders by your rabbis and your spiritual leaders. Abaya will understand that. That's why Yahshua is all about it. To receive justification. In Yahshua's name, what the law of Moses cannot do for you. Come on, Israel. Don't be ashamed to call Yahweh by his name. Don't be ashamed to go before Yahweh mercy seat and ask him for forgiveness. If we deny Yahshua before men, Yahshua will deny you before his father. He is in power as also. to give your people the opportunity to talk to you, to open up the telephone line, open up all the doors in the paradise and everywhere in order to listen to your people. They must cry upon you. The line is still open. Come on. Don't give up. Ask your creator. His name is Yahweh. To Yahshua HaMashiach. Remember, you must call him by his name. Otherwise, he will not go to pay attention to you. Come on. The line is still open. Every night, a wonderful conversation with your maker, with your creator, with your father. When you need something, what you gonna do? You gonna pray to your father? Or you gonna ask for your father? Tell me what you're going to do. Consider Abba Yahweh as your earthly father when you want something or to appear before him. Remember your head must be covered. Without your head covered, Yahweh is not going to listen to you. Abba Yahweh don't want to see your nakedness. Love, discipline, desire, determination, no matter where you are, the children of Israel, this is the time now. Honor Yahweh. This is the time to start by fighting between two opinions, Israel. If you love Yahweh, just prove Yahweh you love Him by being obedient. 
by doing what you love, please Yahweh, not what please you. Baruka ba b'shem Yahweh. Stop by killing those Yahweh sent to you to teach you about wisdom and understanding and to love those who mislead you, deceive you, lie to you who make you become a merchandise in order for them to make a money for their own sake, for their own self the lie is still open asking your creator your maker every fate has become believe the Yahweh is your creator is your maker he can become your father by adoption are you ready to be happening in your life be grateful, be thankful, be content to whatever the circumstances, the situation might be. Sometimes too much expectation. Can make you hurt yourself because you expect it too much. The more you expect, the more you're going to be deceiving. The less you expect it, the less you will be misled and deceived. The more it has been given, the more it's going to be required. More destructions, more instructions. Ask me, say, Yeshua, to show you the way. Golgotha, why is a woman? Do not cry over me, cry for you and for your secrets. If you know what was waiting for you to come, the day of tribulation and the day of the great tribulation, how can you can survive without knowing who to call upon? No matter where you are on the four corner of the earth, remember my brothers and sisters, there is only one name give above and the man can receive salvation. The name is Yahushua Hamashiach. The line is open. Don't give up. Keep on talking to your creator, to your maker. Enter into your closet. And have a nice and wonderful conversation. Knowing about the character of your father, of your maker, of your creator. Don't beg up by Yahweh, just talking to him, asking him. If you would aim to be obedient, up by Yahweh will have your compassion and mercy upon you. When up by Yahweh say, I will have your mercy. To whom I choose to have a mercy and I will have a compassion. To whom I choose to have a compassion. Yahweh mercy forever and all. If you have any emergency, any problems, call upon. Hallelujah, praise be to Yahweh, and you are by Yahweh, for the opportunity you give to your people, for the blessing, you open up the line, your telephone line, all the doors and the windows and the power that's wide open to listen to your people, the crying of the miseries of the pain and sufferings because the sickness the addictions 
the pain and sufferings be under today. Asking you to have a mercy, to have a compassion. by your will, let your will be done on earth. As it is right now in paradise. you are by your way for the opportunity you give to your people. Whoever do not receive it's good they do not ask him. Whoever do not ask him do not may receive. Whoever will stay in the nakedness will never receive. Thank you are by your way for your mercy, for your compassion. For your love. Thanks you are by your way. To all my Israel brothers and sisters. By the way you are tonight on the four corner of the earth. I am messenger Daniel. It is in the name of Yahweh. Welcome back, Yahushua Ministries. Say Shabbat Shalom to all of you. There always be a blessing. A privilege to be with you tonight and to close the Sabbath day of Yahweh Yahweh with you. I thanks Abba Yahweh for all of you, especially for those maybe for the first time. And I'm asking Abba Yahweh to bless you and to all of us. I'm asking Abba Yahweh to bless you. Because Messiah Swasi, I know my sheep. And my sheep know my voice. When I call them, they hear me. And they follow me. It's the time now, the children of Israel, no matter where you are on the four corner of the earth. If you was sleeping, perhaps you hear the voice of your shepherd. It's looking for you. Because you are lost. Are you want to be found? Are you willing to be obedient to your Father, to your Maker, to your Creator? Out there, there is nothing. There is nothing down there. Don't be just like that wife. Even our buyer will whisk you, her, from the city of Amsterdam and Gomorrah. But she was always remember the pleasure, just like those who are living in the United States of America, the joy she used to be doing and then in Sodom. That was the main reason when Abba Yahweh said, however what you heard is, Abba Yahweh knows she's going to turn, but Abba Yahweh never do anything without a warning. Whatever watch you heard, don't look back. That was not a choice. That was a comment. But when she remember everything, just like those in the United States of America, who celebrate all kind of pagans holidays, most of you gonna look back. But you don't want to let go those pagans' holidays. You are refused to take silver. You better be obeying men instead of to obey your creator. Yes, you become a pillar of salt because of rebellion, disobedience. 
It's a time now to start by living your life the way you live in your life. You never know what's going to be happening between now and next second. Yesterday is already gone. Tomorrow is a story. You never know it's tomorrow will be exist. You might be not saved. I might be not saved. If our buyer will can bless us with the breath of life, he give you the grace and mercy. It's not something, grace is not something we deserve. Most people take the word grace for granted. I am under grace. But there is a lot of meaning to whatever your pastors or whatever they teach you, they taught you about grace. Grace doesn't mean you are not under the commitments. If there is nothing to be transgressed against, grace doesn't exist. In order for anybody to receive forgiveness or grace or favor or compassion, that person must be doing something wrong. If you are righteous, you don't need Yeshua. If you are see, you're not blind. You don't need Yeshua. If you are a lost sheep, you need Yeshua as your shepherd. If you are a goat, you are no need of a shepherd. A goat has no need of a shepherd. But a sheep always did a shepherd to lead them, to protect them from the wolves. But today, all those pastors, rabbis, ritual leaders, and elders, they are wolves with the sheep clothing on them. The word they get in their hand, the staff, is not to protect the sheep, but to abuse them because they are wolf with the sheep clothing themselves along they are going to keep on sleeping it says so I say, unless you pray and watch you will fall into temptation Abba, we thank you to give your people the opportunity tonight and your sabbath day to talk to you to have a conversation a communication with you for you to listen to the voice to all those who call by your name is a requirement they must call you by your name to all those who are willing who love you find a way up by your way to forgive their sins and to open up the door of your kingdom for them here i am tonight in your presence, I humble myself before you and before the mercy seat of Yeshua Hamashiach, which your people you are chosen, those you are set apart to do your will to please you. Abaya way, may your will be done on earth, just like it is right now in paradise. All your questions, the acknowledge, the day of your set apartness, the day you are blessing, the day you are sanctifying, the day you are resting, and the way you are refreshed, and the way you are out. You see, if you obey all my commitments, I will put you. Above all the people on the earth is a promise. With that six conditions, if you obey all my commitments, my statutes and my judgment, I will put you above all the people on the earth. If you obey all my commitment, my judgment, and my statute, you should be the head not the terror. But today, 
We found our safe. We had the tail, not the head. We are beneath all the people on the earth. It's step for us to be on the top of the world. Abba Yahweh. Here I am tonight as your servant. It's your people. Just as 25 on the years ago, it's your servant Moshe. You send them to teach your people about the Torah, about you. But they are very rebellious, stiff, naked people. It's set up for them to be obedient to you, the bit of golden calf. Make your anger burning against them. And you say no one of them will enter into the promised land except the exceptions of Joshua and Caleb. For me, say, as was say, many are called, but only few are chosen. You know those few you already chosen. Let your way be done. As it is right now in paradise. Now, as we know, is a way, my beloved brothers and sisters. We're gonna just blow the shofar and call it the church trap of Israel. It's not just like the service as usual, but it's always still based service. But to closing, we don't need to do all this service. Last night, this morning, now we're going to call the church up of Israel and they keep on going with the service. To the tribe of Yahuda, to the tribe of Naphtali, to the tribe of Azaka, to the tribe of Zebulun, to the tribe of Dan, to the tribe of Asher, to the tribe of Levi's, to the tribe of Benjamin, to the tribe of Joseph. To the tribe of Simeon, to the tribe of God, no matter where you are tonight, the tribe of Reuben, no matter where you are tonight, I by way call you out of the system. I by way say it is a time now to come out from the Babylonian system. Come out from among those pagans. May Yahweh, we listen to you. May Abba Yahweh, we forgive of your sin. May Abba Yahweh, we hear you and take you away from your captivities and have mercy upon you. In the name of Yahshua, Amasiak, Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom to all of you, the new. Faces, it's always be a blessing to be with all of you. There is a, so many things happens between last night and now. The program we should be going to the ad and up ask everybody to asking my apology to all of you because I buy we want to do things according to his own ways. And I feel about the feast of trumpets and your archipelagos was as enough from last night and so how it changed. So for all those of you who was thinking you're gonna hear what you see on the ad, I'm sorry for whatever's happened, but it's Yahweh will to be done. Because there is so many Thanks, so many 
confusions are by our Lord is people. Gone without Shia is revelation to them. Was Asana is nothing to do with Yahweh. And feast of trumpet don't have anything about Yahweh. It's just those man made tradition, the Jewish tradition. When the Arab by Yahweh was given the covenant with the house of Israel, not to the Jewish people. So that means it's a shame for all those who call themselves black Hebrew Israelites, pretended, presumed they are a leader, but when they are nothing but a wolf with a cheap clothing on them. If you are a chosen one, you are of the house of Israel, and you call the Jewish people they are fake, and if you follow the same tradition they follow, something's wrong with you. Why you call them fake? And then you follow the own, the own face, the own tradition. You follow them and you call them fake. I mean, you are fake also. Abba Yahweh, open up my lips. May my mouth me declare your praise in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. May this question of my mouth, may the door of my mind, for I fever before you, Yahweh, my rock and my redeemer. Beshem Yahshua Hamasiak. Here I am, as your servant. Bow down before you to do your will, to do what please you, not according to my will. But according to your will, Abba Yahweh. Here I am, as your version, as your mouth pieces to reveal your children, your chosen people, the child. Let's show we be done on earth as it is in paradise. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom to all my Israel brothers and sisters. I am Messenger Daniel. It is in the name of Yahweh. Welcome back, Yahushua Ministries, to Shalom Alehem, peace, day to day. And Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, to all of you, no matter where you are. Welcome above. May Abba Yahweh bless every single one of you. Because Abba Yahweh has a policy, no one has to be left behind. You can left yourself behind. But Abba Yahweh created the earth for you to enjoy, all this creation for us to enjoy. All the animals enjoy Yahweh creation, but except one, except men. Because we are refused to be obedient and to enjoy our creator creations. As we know as a custom, your fly can be take off. And your captains, his name is Yahushua Hamashiach. Yahushua, Yah, Yahweh, Shua means salvation. Hamashiach is the anointed one. There is no two. There is no three Hamashiach. There is only one anointed one. It's Yahweh salvation and your fly number is seven 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 please buck it up put your seat belt remember your captain your pilot his name is Yahushua the GPS unit Yahshua every for you 
There's only one thing you ask to do. Put your faith, trust in Yeshua. Put your seatbelt hands on sure your right. Just close your eyes. Only one thing you have to do to keep safe is to just buckle up your seat and enjoy your right. And I'll see you later. If it is by the will of Yahweh, enjoy your right. Me up by Yahweh. Bless all of you. Those who have a hear to his, let up by Yahweh make you hear his word. Not according to the tradition of men, but according to his words. Be blessed and be safe and enjoy your rights in Yeshua name. My beloved Israel brothers and sisters, we're going to take over what we was missing for this afternoon. We are living on the world of deceptions. We've been deceived, we've been misled, we've been lied to. We've been sitting with so many holy days, man-made holy days. All those old ladies is about commercialize, it's about money, but has nothing to do with Yahweh. But perhaps you might be thinking all those so called man made holy days have anything to do with Yahweh. Take the example, Rosh Hashanah has nothing to do because the first month of the year for the children of Israel. It's not on the month of September. It's not on the nine months. For all those of you who have been misled by those elders, by those Pharisees, by those teachers of the laws, by the Sadducees, the scribes, and the hypocrites, may Abba Yahweh open up your mind tonight and to see where you are standing. Your choice is to stay on the light or to go back to the darkness. Because light and darkness cannot live together. Light do only one thing is to expose the darkness. There is a sage who say, if you cannot beat them, join them. Uh-uh. Not in Yahweh vineyard. If you cannot expose them, so put a dog tip in your mouth, but don't join them. You must expose them. Don't join them. Don't be associated with them. That is the reason our by Yahweh say you must not yoke together with unbelievers. My beloved, let's go on to the book of Matthew, the book of Matthew 23, chapter verse 1. May Abba Yahweh be with you. Let's start working. May Abba Yahweh bless every single one of you. It's a blessing. It's a privilege to be here with all of you tonight in the presence of Yahweh power. It is not by my mind. It is not by my power, but by Yahweh's spirit. Yes, a blessing, a curse, yes. Darkness and light. Light represents blessing, darkness represents curses. That's the reason why Abba Yahweh has been distinguished between light and darkness since the beginning of the foundation of the earth. But nobody understands that. Now, let's go back to a place. The book of Matthew, the book of Matthew, 23 chapter verse 1. Let's see what Messiah Yahshua say to those Pharisees, to those teachers of the laws, to those Pharisees, to those hypocrites, to the Sadducees, and to the scribes. Just like it, when they address to those pastors tonight, those elders, those blind leaders, 
who led the children of Israel astray. Then Yahshua said to his crowd and to his disciples, Thank you, my beloved sinner. Shabbat shalom to you. May Abba Yahweh blessing be extendedly upon you. Thank you, my beloved Shabbat shalom Baptist. Shabbat shalom to you. May Abba Yahweh be with you. Thank you, my beloved Christopher. May Abba Yahweh be with you and keep you safe. My beloved Shabbat Shalom, then he spoke in Yahushua to a multitude and to his disciple. My beloved Christopher, then Yahshua said to the gods and to his disciple, My beloved Oled, Shabbat Shalom to you, my beloved. May Abba Yahweh keep you safe from wherever you go, when you go out, when you get in. Protect you and preserve you and guide you in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach. Then Yahushua say to the gods and to his disciple. Now, let's see verse 2 to see what he said. Let's go to the verse 2. Matthew chapter 23, chapter, verse 2. Matthew chapter Saying, thank you, my beloved Christopher. Saying, the scribes and the Pharisees have set themselves in the chair of Moshe. Thank you, my beloved Nikin. So, but shalom to you. Now, so I say to the scribe and to the Pharisees, sit and Moses sit. Hmm. My beloved Shina. The teacher of religious laws, Sadducees, scribes, and the Pharisees are interpreters of the law of Moshe. Now, let's go to the verse 3 to see what he said. That's what talking to those leaders today. That is the same thing he says, what talking to those leaders today. Oh, I'm sorry, my beloved Shabbat Shalom. Saying, the scribe and the Pharisees sit and Moses sit. I'm sorry, my beloved Shabbat Shalom. I did not be able to forget you. Mr. Ashwa said, thank you, my beloved Olives. The teacher of the commandments and the Pharisees sit and Moses says, thank you, my beloved Olives. My beloved Christopher. So do and observe whatever they told you. But not the works they do. For they preach that they do not practice or obey my commandments. Listen carefully, my beloved sinner. So practice and obey whatever they told you. But don't follow the example. For they don't practice what they teach. They don't practice what they preach. They don't practice what they teach. My beloved audience. So you must not, you must be careful to do everything they told you, but do not do what they do. For they do not practice what they my beloved Fifi Askins, so much shalom to you. May Abba Yahweh bless you and give his faith to shine upon you in the name of Yeshua Amasiak. So obey everything they teach you, but not do, not, but don't do as they do. After all they say, one thing and do something else. Hallelujah. 
So obey everything they teach you. But don't do as they do. After all, they say one thing and do something else. That's why you sit today. Your pastor told you something. Your elders tell you something. And they turn around. They do something different. My beloved Shabbat Shalom Baptist. All that for whatsoever they beg you. Observe that observe. That observe and do. But do not do you after the works. My beloved Nikki. Therefore, observe all that they do. But you, but don't follow the works for they say and do not do. They say and do not do. They say something to you, but they do another thing. Now, let's go to verse 4. Verse 4, please. Verse 4, verse 4, verse 4, my teacher, 23 chapter, verse 4, please. Thank you, my beloved Christopher. They tie up a heavy burden, hard to bear. And lay them on men, on people's shoulders, but they themselves are not willing to move them. Thank you, my beloved Jacqueline Georges. Thank you, my beloved Fifi. They pile heavy burdens on people's shoulders and won't lift a finger to help. They put a heavy load in your hands. But they won't even help you with one finger. My beloved Shina, tonight, they fight that good. My beloved Olex, the time of heavy come by sums, loads, and put them on other people's shoulders. But they themselves are not willing to leave it. My beloved Shabbat Shalom. You get blocked again. Christopher. Great get blocked. Do what something for him please. My beloved Shabbat Shalom. For they buy every burdens. And grave used to be born. And lay them on men's shoulders. But they themselves will not move it with one fingers. My beloved Nanky, for they buy every burden which are grievous to bear and lay them on men's shoulders. But they themselves would not move them with one finger. That's hypocrisy. Verse 5, please. Verse 5. Everybody, they tell you you got to do this, you got to do this, but they don't live by example. That's why I teach you, but even it teach his disciple, but he showed them how to live. But your pastor don't. Everything they do, my beloved Christopher Legan, everything they do is for a show. Everything they do is for show. When you see the camp, everything they do, those pastors, those ministers, those rabbis, everything they do, they do it for a show. On their arms, they wear with extra wide prayer boxes with scripture, verses, and sign. But to show you they are righteous when they are wicked. My beloved Shina, everything they do is for a show. Are you get that? Everything your pastor doing, your minister, 
your elders, your rabbis, your spiritual leaders, they are doing for a show business. But not for Yahweh. On the arms, the wealthy extra wide prayers boxes with scripture verses and sign. But they don't even understand what is inside the prayers box. Because they do not know how to read the blind. My beloved colleagues, everything they do, they do it for people to see. They make their philatelizes wide and tussles of the garment. You can see what the black Ibu Israelite are doing today. This is what Yeshua is speaking about. You can see all them as a uniform, just like they gone to armies. That's what you are talking. My beloved Nikki, my beloved Fifi, everything they do is just to show, to be seen of men, but not of Yahweh. They make broad the philatelizes and, and enlarge the borders of the garment. Just to sit down on the special places. Because every single person want to sit in Moshe's state. But do they are qualified for? Do Yahweh choose them? Ordain them? Anointed them? Call them? No. Let me see my beloved Shabbat Shalom. But all the works they do to be seen of men, not to see by Yahweh. They make bloods, the philateries, and enlarge the borders. The world is very large, which swims all over. They call them sit sit. I don't need those. I'm not in the show business. I don't want to see by men. Don't impress by those who can quote the scripture but who cannot live according to the words. Stop impress yourself to those who want to impress you by quoting the scripture. Let those who are live according to the scripture impress you but knows those hypocrites. Verse 6 now, please. After that, we're going to leave it. We're going to go to someplace else. Because there's so many things for us. If we have a time, we're coming back to them. Verse 6. Verse 6, please. Verse 6. Verse 6. Thank you, my beloved Christopher. And the love to sit at the head tables of the banquets and the seat of the chief and the synagogue. Hello. That's why you see happen today. You love to sit at the big seat. That means they call it short. That's that they are somebody. My beloved Fifi, they love to the best seat at the banquets and the front seat on the meeting places. My beloved Olegs, they love the place of the upper white room at feasts and the chief seat in the synagogue to show them, hey, I am the rabbi, I am the pastors, they have a special place to show you, hey, I am the man. My beloved Shabbat Shalom. And love the uppermost rooms at the face and the chief seat and the snuggle. They always wanted special places. I never go any places. I want special places. I always sit down in the back. My beloved sinner. And they love to sit in the herd tables and banquets. And in the seat. Of armor in the temple. That's why we see happen. 
all the bad Igbo Israelites, they like to sit down on the table, on the chair. When you see them, you can see, hey, I'm going to shot. And they held them as a uniform, just like they are in armies. That's why they still doing it. I feel this day here as look at the Pope. Of course, yes. There's no difference between them and the Pope. They're working for the same Satan. Don't let them bluff you. Don't let them bluff you. Now, let's go to the next face. And then after we're going to squeeze it. Verse 7, please. Verse 7. Don't let them fool you. Don't let them fool you. You see the Pope when they dress, how they dress, when they go someplace, how they treat them, just that they are somebody. Yeshua never get bodyguards. Yeshua never gets, you know, motor card who follow him, who protect him, FBI, CIA, airplane, nothing. Just bad Igbo is why rise. Do you see when they sit someplace uniform? Thank you, my beloved Christopher. The love to receive respectful greeting as you walk in the marketplace and to be called rabbi alone. Listen what Mr. Ashwa said, and we're going to squeeze back in the Lord's word. Thank you, my beloved audience. The love to be great with respect. In the marketplace and to the call rabbi really my beloved Nikki and greetings in the markets and to be called of men rabbi rabbi my beloved Shina. the love to receive respectful greeting as the walk in the marketplace and to be called rabbi teacher teacher but Let's go to verse 8 to see what's going on. Let's see verse 8. Let's see what, that's what I tell you. That's what, what? Verse 8. Let's squeeze. Let's see what Yeshua said to them. Let's see what Mr. Yeshua said to them. In verse 8. What Mr. Yeshua said. Verse 8. What Mr. Yeshua said, please. Oh, I'm sorry, my beloved Shabbat Baptist. And greetings in the markets, and to be called of men. They, they, they get too much pride. They want to call Rabbi, teacher. They pride themselves. No matter what the story they get, for people, rabbis, teacher, they love that. Men love pride. But Yeshua never want pride. Because he comes to serve, not to be served. I'm a servant. I'm not a master. I'm just a servant. I'm coming to serve you. Just like Yeshua is coming to serve, not to be served. Thank you, my beloved Sina. Don't let anyone call you rabbi, teacher. For you have only one teacher, Yahushua. And all of you are brothers and sisters. Hello. Thank you, my beloved audience. But you are not to be called rabbis, for you have one teacher, and you are all brothers and sisters. Point blank. That's Yeshua's word to those hypocrites. My beloved Christopher, don't let anyone call you rabbis, for you have only one teacher. It's Yeshua Amasia. And all of you are brothers and sisters. Are you hearing? My beloved Fifi, but none of you should be called a teacher. You have only one teacher, and all of you are like brothers and sisters. It's getting hot in here, I know. (laughs) 
Thank you, my beloved Shalom Baptist. But be not called rabbi, for anyone is your master. Even Yeshua Amashiach, and all you are brethren. My beloved great heavens, Satan is working tonight. He's keeping me out of this. I will be with you, Facebook, in the name of Yeshua Amashiach. Hallelujah. <laughs> they do not block you. <laughs> they do doing that to other people. Yes. So now you see, Yahshua said, call any men on the earth rabbis. So the Jewish people, why everywhere the go people call them rabbis? I don't want people to call me pastors because I'm not a pastor. Please don't call me pastor. Ever call me pastor if you want to be my friend. I'm not a rabbi either. Pastor is not a scriptural. Rabbi is not scriptural either. So I am what Yahweh make me to. Now let's take the verse 9 and then we're going to push you and change the course because too much verses to go through. Because the time is running. Thank you. That's why Yahweh brought me to be, yes. But not pastors. I'm not a pastor. Pastors, when you go to school, you buy yourself a self diploma. You call your pastor, give you, you buy a title. Thank you, my beloved people. Don't call any man on earth your father. Hmm. For all of you have the same father in paradise. That's a big parable. Don't call any man on earth your father. All of you have won the same father in paradise. Hmm. That's a deep one. My beloved colleagues, and call no man your father on earth, for all of you as one father. My beloved sinner, <laughs> And don't address anyone here on earth as Father or Abba. For only Yahweh and Padas is your Father, my beloved Nikki. And call no man your Father on the earth. For one is your Father, with it is in paradise. That's a parable. When Messiah Yeshua he call any man on earth father. Do he's talking about your earthly father? The one he used? My beloved Shabbat Sharon Baptist. Thank you. And call no man your father upon the earth. For one is your father, which is in paradise, is Yahweh. Why? Messiah Yeshua he call no man. On the earth, Father, for you have only one Father. It's in paradise. All of you as one Father. What is that symbolic? What is symbolized? And call no man your Father on the earth. For one is your Father, which he is in paradise. What is the meaning of that? My beloved Fifi. And don't address anyone here on earth as father. Don't address anyone here on earth as father or Abba. For only Yahweh and paradise is your father. What the meaning of this? They want to be like Yahweh, make themselves gods. Who they? That's a nice, that's a nice answer, but who they? Who they? I want to describe the word they for me because they can be multitude things. They want to be like Yahweh, make themselves gods. But who they? Describe it for me, please. That's a nice answer, but I want descriptions. No one on earth beneath it has authority and power 
of creator but Yahweh there is only one creator Catholic priests that's great Catholic priests everybody called the priest fathers I barely know what's going to be happen the same priest you call father that is same thing they are pedophile they are gay they are everything hello but you call them father they are gay they are pedophile and they do whatever's wrong so you call those people father all those christian people all those catholic people they call the priest father when they live in sin and immorality. That's the reason why Yahshua said, call any man on earth, Father. Because Satan used them in order to distract you, to mislead you. That's why Yahshua wants to let you know. Now, my beloved Nikki, the want to be like Yahweh make themselves gods your questions is right but when i ask you a question don't be afraid to fail if you are afraid to fall down you will not be able to walk when you say they you can say the pastors you can say satan satan want to be like yahweh make themselves as god god or those people in hollywood of those superstars that's why they mean lot if we describe the word they you can mean lot my beloved nikki i understand they those athletic those sport people those basketball players those football players those nfl players those people in hollywood they can be a god yes they want to be god yeah satan want to make, make them gods god mean father you're right but don't be impressed when I ask you a question. You want to teach you more and more. Why, when you say they, they can mean lot. They worship anything that except Yahweh. That's why I always say, don't call any man father. Because God and the white trust this one is father. Call any man on earth. Do you have any other father or creator but me? You right. Now, let's go to the book of Ezekiel 12, chapter verse 2, please. Catholic priests, they call them father. They are pedophiles, they are gay. They destroy little boys' life. But we call them father. Everything's in this scripture. It must be revealed to you. Now, the book of Ezekiel 12, chapter verse 2. The Christian call their leaders a spiritual father. Yes. Yes, the Christian people, that's like Satan. Yes, spiritual father. Yes. When Yahshua say, call any man on earth father. Any man. It's not your earthly father. So it's a symbolic for us to turn who going to use so many people. And our buyer we don't want you to call them father. Just like those priests, those pastors. We don't want you to call them. Because you both say, oh, he's not my spiritual father. I never see my spiritual father. Not those people. He can be in Yahweh kingdom. But not this. Thank you, my beloved Christopher. Son of men, you dwell in the midst of a rebellious house. Who have eyes to see, but see not. Who have ears to hear, but not hear. Hmm. My beloved Olex. Son of men, you are living amongst a rebellious people, the children of Israel. They have eyes to see, but do not see. And they have ears to hear, but do not hear. Or can you can't 
explain something or talk to somebody or speak to somebody who have the eyes they cannot see because they are blind, but who get a ears but they cannot hear. That's the reason why we say as I say, whoever get the ears to hear, let them hear what the Yahweh Spirit has to say to the congregation of the children of Israel. My beloved Nikki, son of men, you live in the midst of the rebellious house, the children of Israel, which have eyes to see, but are blind, and he is to hear, but they are deaf. If you talk to a deaf person, you have to make a sign language for them to understand. Otherwise, they will never understand. Even you make a sign language, they are so confused. Those leaders, those pastors, those elders, they will never understand because Yahweh make them blind. Yahweh make them deaf. That's why we say, so as you overget eyes to see, let them see. Overget the ear. We born with two eyes. My beloved Shina, son of men. You dwell in the midst of a rebellious people, which have eyes to see and see not. Hello? You see, you look at something, but you cannot see nothing. They have ears, but they cannot hear nothing. My beloved Fifi, Ezekiel, son of men. You are living among rebellious people, the children of Israel. They have eyes, but they refuse to see. They have ears, but they refuse to hear. Because Messiah saw a fire with the Pharisees, with the teachers of the law, with the Sadducees. They think what you are with how it is it's mine. They even say it possessed by evil spirit because they don't understand his language. Because not even they are blind, but they are deaf in the same time. My beloved Sabbath, son, Baptist, son of men, you dwellings in the midst of the rebellious house, which every eyes to see, but see not, but every hear to hear, but see not. All those pastors, all those ministers, all those rabbis, all those spiritual leaders, especially those elders, they are blind and they are deaf. If you are blind and deaf, can there is any communications between? No. Who we'll make it that way? Yahweh. Because they think they are wise. They think they can see. And I say, because you see, I'm going to make you blind. If you are blind, I will make you see. But you say you see. You're not blind. So how can blind lead another blind? Now, let's go to the book of Isaiah 29, chapter and verse 13, please. Yeshayahu. Yeshayahu. Isaiah. 29, chapter and verse 13. There's another verse to go. Let's see how far we can go for tonight. Get the best out of it. Isaiah 29, chapter and verse 13, please. If it is by Yahweh will, let his will be done. Let shall we open up your eyes. Let shall we feed you with wisdom. Not with knowledge. Satan has been fed you. To use those pastors, those elders, those religious people in order to mislead you and deceive you. To keep you captive in order to do Satan will instead of to save Yahweh will. Those pastors, those elders, those ministers, they have one thing, the one eyes on that. Because they get paid for that. It's to empty paradise to fill hell. But Abel has sent me to empty hell and to fill paradise, his kingdom. Thank you, my beloved audience. Son of men, you are living with the rebellious people. They have eyes to see, but do not see. And ears to hear, but do not see. Isaiah 29, chapter verse 13, please. Yes, Isaiah 29, chapter verse 13. Yes, Isaiah 29, chapter verse 13. 
29 and 13, please. Yeshiyahu. Yeshiyahu. Thank you, my beloved sinner. Wherefore, Yahweh say, For these people draw near to me with their mouth and the lips do honor me, but have the mind far away from me. Hmm. Let me see my beloved Christopher. And so Yahweh say, Yahushua. Yahushua say, those people say they are mine. They honor me with their lips, but the mind are far away from me. Yahweh. So if you are somebody mind, you cannot just say that in your mouth, but your mind, your mind, you see the heart is your mind is far away from that person. That's not love, that's loss. Okay, my beloved. Ramsey, welcome back, my beloved Ramsey. May Abba Yahweh bless you, Ramsey. Therefore, Yahweh say, For as much as these people draw near to me with their lips and their mouth, and annoy me with their lips, but they have the mind focused on something else. Let me see my beloved Christopher. And so Yahweh says, those people say they are mine. They honor me with their lips, but the mind are far away from me. You just talk is cheap, but actions speak louder than words. He said just talk. Everybody can say something. That doesn't mean nothing. But actions it speak louder than words. I don't need to speak. My actions, you can see, speak louder than words. Now let's go to the book of Matityahu, 13 chapter verse 14, please. The book of Matityahu, the book of Matthew, 13 chapter and verse 14. Matityahu, 13 chapter and verse 14, please. Matthew. 13 chapter and verse 14. Thank you, my beloved Shabbat Shalom. Wherefore, I by Yahweh say, for as much as these people draw near to me with the mouth and the lips, but the mind are far away from me, and then do the worship me. Thank you, my beloved Fifi. Yahushua said, those people praise me with their words. But they never really take about me. They worship me with their with petition. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Those people praise me with their words. But they never really take about me. <laughs> you see, when you talk, 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 but you never think about that person. They worship me by repeating things. The man are far away from me. Hmm. Verse 15. Verse 15, please. What is my bit of China? And then it's fulfilled in the prophecy of Azar. My beloved sinner, this fulfilled the prophecy of Azar that say, when you hear what Yahushua say, you will not understand. Hmm. When you hear what Yahushua say, you will not understand. When you listen, there is no way you can understand because it's a parable. Thank you, my beloved Christopher. This fulfilled the prophecy of Isaac that say, when you hear what as Yahshua say, you are not going to be understand. When you see, you cannot see. <laughs> For this people heart has become callosed. They hardly hear with their ears. See with their eyes, but they do not understand. 
that you might be of naked. And, and then is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, the prophets, which says, By hearing you shall hear and shall not understand. And by see, and you cannot see because you are deaf. You are blind. It's everything so we get to go to mind. Those pastors, those elders, those rabbis, they are blind. Thank you, my beloved Wednesday. So the prophecy of Isaiah, the prophet applied to them. These people will listen and listen, but not understand. Never get understanding. That's why you see happen to them. They hear, they listen, they listen, but they never understand. Because Yahweh said it that way. Thank you, my beloved Shabbat Shalom. And, and then is fulfilled the prophecy of Prophet Isaiah. We say, by Ewen you shall hear and shall not understand. And by see, but do not perceive. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's deep. That's very, very, very deep. Mm. Now, let's go to the book of Joshua 6, chapter 16. The book of Joshua 16, 6, chapter 16. It's to show you there is so many faiths, so many deceptions. They bore to you. Just to make you bow down to her Satan, to Satan. All the religious different name but they are same satan same gods same name but different demonizations the book of joshua yahushua 6 chapter verse 16 please the book of yahushua 6 chapter verse 16. do i go to matthew 13 verse 15 Let's go to Matthew verse 15 first. Do I say verse 15? No, let's go to verse 15. Matthew 13 verse 15 first. Before we go to Yahushua 6. Matthew 13 chapter verse 15 first. Matthew 13 chapter verse 15 first. My bad. Matthew 13 chapter verse 15, please. Let's go to that first. Then we proceed to Yahushua 6.16. Matthew 13, chapter verse 15, please. Matthew 6, 13, chapter verse 15. Shabbat Shalom, my beloved voice, approval. May Abba Yahweh peace be to you and your family. Matthew 13, chapter verse 15, please. Matthew. 13 chapter verse 15. Thank you, my beloved Shina. For the mind of those people are hardened, and their ears I cannot hear, and they have closed their eyes so their eyes can see. For if they can see and understand, they will come to me and I will heal them. Thank you, my beloved Oleg. This is what Moses has given to the tribe of Rubens according to his claims. My beloved Christopher, keep us on the toys. I see messenger Daniel. So much shalom, my beloved was. The book of Matthew, 13 chapter verse 15, please. Really? That's good. At least you see me. Keep us on our toes. You see my sins with Daniel. That's good. For this people heart has become corrosion. They hardly hear with their ears. They hardly hear with their ears. See with their eyes. But they never perceive and never understand 
Otherwise, they will come to me and I will give them. Thank you, my beloved Ramsey. Because the my adults and they have stopped up their heads and they have closed their eyes. Otherwise, they will see and hear and come to me. I will heal them. That are a stupid those children of Israel, especially those black Israelites, those pastors, those rabbis. Thank you, my beloved Christopher. For the mind of these people are hardened, and their ears cannot hear, and they have closed their eyes, so their eyes cannot see. So if they was here, and say they will come to me and I will heal them. You see, other world is sick. Why? Because they're blind. Not even they are blind, they are deaf. So they cannot hear and they cannot see. That's the reason why you see the world is upside down on the way it is. Thank you, my beloved Nikki. For these people, my is wax, gross. And the ears are dull, of earrings and the eyes they have closed, lest anyone can see and come to me, and I will heal them. But they are so stupid, they can't, they cannot. My beloved Shabbat Shalom. Are you there? Now we're going to go to the next. Yahushua 6, chapter verse 16. Yahushua 6, chapter verse 16. If there's any other one, Yahushua 6, chapter verse 16, please. Yahushua 6, chapter verse 16. Joshua, Yahushua. 6 chapter in verse 16. Let's see what he has to say. Yahushua. Joshua. 6 chapter in verse 16. Please. Let's see what he has to say. Joshua 6 16. And it came to pass at the seventh time when the priest blew the shofar. Joshua said unto the people, listen, blow the shofar. Blow the shofar, not the trumpets. So there can be no feast of trumpet. And it came to pass in the seven times when the priests blow the shofar. Yahushua say unto the children of Israel, listen to the voice of Yahweh. So they were skipping as a feast. He blew the shofar as a warning. Thank you, my beloved Wancy. The seven times round, when the priest was about to sound the shofar, not trumpet shofar, Yahushua ordered the people, this people, the people of Israel, it's what we have to do. And the wall of Jericho would go down. My beloved audience. And it come to pass, at the seven times when the priest blow the shofar, not the trumpet, shofar, That's why I say into the people, shut out the shofar. Not trumpet, shofar. Not trumpet. My beloved Nikki. And it come to pass at the seventh time when the priest blew the shofar. That's why I say to the people of Israel, shout. Shout. Tell Yahweh, we are seven times we blow the shofar. You don't see to, to blow the trumpets, let the shofar. If there is a shofar, if Moshe never keep the feast of trumpet, Yahshua, Joshua, after he replaced Moshe, the children of Israel never have used the feast of trumpets or the feast of Was Ashana. Yahshua is coming on the face of the earth. Yes, yeah, shofar. 
Yahshua coming on the face of the earth. Do it keep any feast? What feast Yahshua will celebrate when he was on the face of the earth? 23 years. They told you at 12 years old. Yahshua went to a feast to Yahushalahim. With feast, please. I ask a question. With feast, Mr. Yahshua will celebrate when he was 12 years old. When he went with his mother and Yosef. What kind of feast he went to Yahushalahim? I'm asking this question. My beloved Remti, my beloved Nike, my beloved Odex, my beloved Shina, my beloved Christopher. I don't see Jacqueline George's, see nobody sleeping. My beloved Nikki, which feast pass over? Hallelujah. Why not feast of trumpet? What not was Hashanah? What not Yom Kippur? Pass over. Hallelujah. Pass over. Why Yahshua only say but pass over? Why you do not celebrate those pagan holidays? Let me see what my bill of Christopher. The seven time around of the high priest sounded the long blast of the shofar. Yahshua commanded the people to shout out. My bill of old pass over. My bill of money grant pass over. Not was Asana. Not fist of trumpet. Not Yom Kippur. Not Rom Teruah. Not was Akadash, not was Asana, not Anunka, Passover. Thank you, my beloved. Everybody is the Passover. If Yahshua is our world mother, we should follow the footsteps of Yahshua. If Yahshua never do something as the Savior of the children of Israel, why we must follow the footsteps of those deceivers, those, those liars? Why? We must follow the footsteps of Yahshua Amashiach. Why? We must follow Yahweh pattern. Who is Yahweh? Yahshua is Yahweh in the flesh. So if anybody cannot live according to Yahshua footsteps to follow Yahshua, that means something is wrong with you. Something will be wrong with you. The Yahshua never participated, even his disciple, they never participated. After the Sabbath day, the Yahshua never observed any of those so-called holidays. Because Abel already said three times in a year. But the Yahshua keep Passover. Why he never keep Yom Akipuim? Why he never keep was Asana? Why he never keep Feast of Trumpet? Why he never keep Hanukkah? Why he never keep Valentine's Day? Why he never keep Mother Day, Father Day's birthday? Why not? Wake up, all you people. See what time it is. How confused your leaders are. How they misled you, strain. They don't lead you to Abba Yahweh. They lead you to Satan. Now, let's go to the book of Mark 8, chapter verse 18. The book of Mark 8, chapter verse 18, please. The book of Mark 8, chapter verse 18. A lot of people follow the crowds in order to be accepted. It's going to be always that way. Yes. And when you follow the crowds, you always get lost. Because you cannot see where are you going. Because you just follow others without knowing the direction you are going. That's why they always be accepted. They want to be accepted by this wicked world. But what this wicked world has to offer to you? Pleasure? Sex? Poly? Drugs? That's what they have to offer to you. Thank you, my beloved Christopher. You have eyes but cannot see. You have ears you cannot hear. Don't you remember anything at all? Thank you, my beloved Christopher. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, my beloved Olives. Do you have eyes but fail to see? And ears but fail to hear? And don't you remember? Hello? Hello, anybody at home? Why Yahshua tell them that? Take you, my beloved Shina. You have eyes, 
but you can you not see you have eyes can you cannot see you can you not see you have ears can you not hear do you remember anything at all no why because they have knowledge they have no wisdom hello if you don't have no wisdom remember the fear of yahweh is the beginning of wisdom and understanding so without the wisdom of yahweh you cannot be understand nothing i was not waiting for that but abba yahweh wanted to be happen that shower will be done <laughs> let on sure you right you have eyes, but you cannot see. That's that those pastors, those elders, those spiritual leaders, they have eyes, but they cannot see. My beloved naked, having eyes, you cannot see. And having ears, but you cannot hear. And do you not remember anything? Uh-uh. Why? Because... They cannot hear. If they cannot hear, they cannot see. I can't remember anything. They can't. Thank you, my beloved. Ramsey. Other people are like the seeds so among the tomboys. They are one hears. The missiles go to here and pass the other one. He was not. It's in Mark 8, verse 18. My beloved Wendy. It's a Mark. It's not 4. It's a 8. Mark 8, chapter verse 18. My beloved Wendy. It's a Mark. Mark 8, chapter verse 18. It's not Mark 4, 18. Heaven eyes, my beloved Shabbat Shalom Baptist. Tell them they have eyes, but see you not. Tell those pastors, those elders that, and have ears, but have not see. And do you not remember anything at all? Uh uh. I can't remember, sir, because I am blind and I am deaf. How can I read? But if I'm deaf, how can I hear? How can I listen? In order for you to remember something, you get to hear something. But you have no hear, they have no hear. How can they can remember? Now, let's take a look of Luca. Luca, 10th chapter, verse 8, please. Luca, the book of Luke. Chapter and verse 8. Luca. 10 chapter and verse 8. Hmm? Let's see what he has to say. Luca. 10 chapter and verse 8. Luca. It's like talking to a wall. Yes, you get that right. <laughs> Do I <work> not hear? <laughs> Thank you, my beloved Renzi. Yes. You have eyes. Can you see? Cannot see. Can you see? Can't you see? You have ears, but can you hear? Don't you remember? No, sir. I can't remember. Because in order for you to remember, you get to hear. If you are deaf, you cannot hear nothing. How can you remember? If you blind, you cannot see. How can you read? You cannot read. So you can't remember nothing because you blind and you are deaf. That's what happened to those leaders. They are blind and they are deaf. The book of Luke, 10th chapter, verse 8. Thank you, my beloved colleagues. When you enter a town, you are welcome, eat and offerings, and heal the sick who are there, and tell them the good news of the kingdom of Yahweh. If you enter a town, if it will welcome you, you eat whatever is set before you if you hear my beloved sinner if you enter in the town it's welcome you eat whatever is set before you 
But if they're not, let's go out. Shake the dust off your feet. Just like that city going to be just like Saddam and Gomorrah. And whatever I say to you, Emperor, and they receive you, it's such a thing, as I said before you. If not, go out. My beloved Shabbat show. And in the white so of a city, you enter. And they receive you. Eat certain things I said before you. But if not, go out. Go to the next one. So if any place you go, you're not welcome. Don't force it. Let it be. Let it go. It's not easy to let go, but sometimes... It's not because you are selfish or you are a coward, so let's go. It's not because you are afraid, because you are wise. Now, let's take the book of Isaiah 43, chapter verse 8. The book of Isaiah 43, chapter verse 8. The book of Isaiah. For the three chapter verse 8. The book of Isaiah. For the three chapter verse 8, please. The book of Isaiah. For the three chapter verse 8, please. The book of Isaiah. For the three chapter and verse 8. The book of Isaiah, 43 chapter and verse 8. The book of Isaiah, 43 chapter and verse 8. Thank you, my beloved Christopher. Bring out the people who are blind, yet every eyes, who are deaf, yet the every ears. Who? Hallelujah. Who are those people? Those Pharisees. Those teachers of the laws. The Sadducees and the scribes. Thank you, my beloved Nikki. Bring forth the blind people that have eyes. And they are deaf that they have ears. Hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh. Those pastors. Those ministers. Those elders. Those rabbis. They are. Thank you, my beloved Shina. Bring forth the blind people that have eyes and they are deaf that they have ears. Thank you, my beloved Shabbat Shalom Baptist. Bring forth the blind people that have eyes. The blind people that have eyes. They have eyes, but they are blind. Just like those pastors. They have eyes, but they're blind. They have hear but the deaf, but they don't understand it. Whatever you tell them, they will not going to listen to you. Because the spirit of the delusions. Let me see what my beloved Zatim George is saying. Lead out of the people who are blind to the have eyes. They are even they have eyes, but they are blind. You think they are see, but they are blind. It's not look at you get this, they have two eyes thinking they see it. No. I will make them blind. They have his, but they are deaf. They cannot hear. My beloved Wendy, Yahweh says, some of my people to court. They have eyes, but they are blind. They have his, but they are deaf. Talking about those pastors, those spiritual leaders, all of them are blind. They are deaf. Now, let's read the book of Isaiah for the first chapter, verse eighteen. 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 Isaiah, for the first chapter, verse 18, please. Yeshayahu, for the first chapter, verse 18. Yeshayahu, Isaiah, 
for the full shop the verse 18 please it's to show you why all the confusions all the lies and the deceiver is because they quote one verse they think they understand it but they don't understand if they are blind they cannot see the same way you have spiritual see such is stupidity and ignorance their eyes are closed and they cannot see the mind i sought and they cannot think alone whatever you tell them you're wasting your time <laughs> you always see it that way my beloved sinner they have not known not understood for they are shut the eyes they cannot see and the mind that they cannot understand what is the we want they have not known not understood for they are shut the eyes that they cannot see and the mind that they cannot understand in order to understand you must have wisdom because the fear of yahweh once again is the fear of yahweh the fear of yahweh is to love yahweh is to be obedient to yahweh if you're not obedient to yahweh What's going to be happening to you? Let's go back to the book of Isaiah, 48, chapter, verse 14. Oh, my beloved. Oh, let's. They know nothing. They understand nothing. Their eyes are plastered away over so they cannot see. Hello. They know nothing. They understand nothing. The eyes are plastered over so they cannot see. Can a blind lead another blind? Can a deaf talk into another deaf without a sign language? No. Let me see my beloved naked. They have not known or understood for Yahweh I shut the eyes that they cannot see and the mind that they cannot understand. Hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh. Because they think they are wise. <laughs> Something to make you cry, but you're laughing. My beloved Sabbath, Sharon Baptist. They have not known, not understood. For Yahweh have shut the eyes that they cannot see and the mind they cannot understand that's why they in this situation they are today because yeah we make it happen that way because they think they see about it say okay because you told me you see i'm gonna make you blind and those who are blind i'm gonna make them see that's why I buy away, make those knowledgeable people become a foolishness. My beloved Wednesday, such people are too stupid to know what they are doing. Listen what that interpretation says. Such people are too stupid to know what they are doing. They close their eyes and the mind. To the truth the close listen such people are too stupid those rabbis those elders those pastors those ministers those spiritual leaders you can see how stupid they are to know what they are doing for them they doing okay for them they get the lights when they live on darkness they close their eyes and their mind so they cannot see or understand the truth. Blind cannot lead another blind. Now, let's go to the book of Yeshua again. Chapter 3, verse 11. The book of Yeshua Azir. Chapter 3 and verse 11, please. 
Let's push you to that. The book of Mark, I mean the book of Isaiah, 3 chapter, verse 11, please. The book of Yeshayahu, 3 chapter and verse 11, please. The book of Yeshayahu, 3 chapter verse 11, please. The book of Yeshayahu, 3 chapter verse 11, please. The book of Yeshayahu, Azir. Those religious they have no shame to lie to someone's face. Hallelujah. Thank you, my beloved Olegs. Woe into the wicked, he shall be healed with him. For the reward of his hand shall be given him. Isaiah, Yeshiyahu, 3, chapter, verse 11. Yeshiyahu, those religious leaders have no shame. How can they have a shame when they are in business to lie to someone's face? They are go to school to look in your face and lie to you. That's why they call themselves pastors, PhD. They buy a diploma. They are in the way to do business. Thank you, my beloved Nikki. Woe into the wicked, he should be healed with them for the reward of his hand should be given to him. Thank you, my beloved Wendy. But evil people are doomed. What they have done to others will now be done to them. Hallelujah. That's a good interpretation you get, my beloved Wendy. But evil people are doomed. What they have done to others will now be done to them. That's the good interpretation. You are a good MC, you are a very good interpretation in your scripture. My beloved Sabbath Seven Baptist, go into the wicked, it shall be heal him, for the reward of his sin shall be given him. My beloved sinner, go into the wicked. Is doom. They will receive exactly what they deserve. Hallelujah. Go into the wicked. The wicked is doom. They will receive exactly what they deserve. Pastors, ministers, elders, spiritual leaders, are you ready? Let me see my beloved Christopher. Go to the wicked. It shall be here with him. What is in F deals out shall be done to him and return. Yes, hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh. Now, Shabbat Shalom already, yes. So now, let's go to verse 12, please. Everybody in? Verse 12, please. Verse 12. Yes, Yahweh, twitch up to verse 12. Azar. Three chapter verse twelve, please. Isaiah. They say Yahweh. Three chapter verse twelve, please. Isaiah. Three chapter verse twelve, please. Isaiah. Three chapter verse twelve. Isaiah. Three chapter. Verse twelve. Yeshayahu, Isaiah, the receptor in verse 12, please. We're going to change the course for the girls. Thank you, my beloved colleagues. As for my people, she drains are the opposites, and women rule over them. Oh, my people, the wish leads you. Cause you to stumble. Thank you, my beloved Christopher. My people entrance are the opposites, and women will over them. Oh, my people Israel, your guides misled you, and they have put you in the way of destruction.
Thank you, my beloved sinner. Try these leaders oppress my people Israel and women rule over them. Oh, my people Israel, your leaders, your leaders misled you. They sent you down to the wrong path. Your leaders, those who are yours, your elders, your spiritual leaders, they are the ones who misled you, your pastors, your rabbis, your ministers. They are the ones who misled you. Thank you, my beloved sinner. Try this leader oppress my people Israel, and women rule over them. Oh, my people Israel, your leader misled you. They sent you down to the wrong part. My beloved Nikki, as for my people, children are the oppressors, and women rules over them. Oh, my people Israel, shameful. They who lead you cause you to err. Those who lead you. Those who led you. Who those who led you. You led blind leads you. You are blind. They are the ones who misled you. They are the ones who direct you on the wrong direction, the wrong path. Because they don't have the GPS to the Ashua Amasiak. Let's see my beloved Wemti. Money lenders oppress my people. Money lenders. Hallelujah. You have a very good interpretation, my beloved Wemti. Money lenders. Those pastors they are. Those elders. Those ministers. Those rabbis. That's why they are money lenders. Oppress my people. And the creditor shit them, my people, your leaders are misleading you. And I want you to know who are misled you. It's your leaders, those who are trust, those camp people. G -C -C -G -G -O -C -C, or, or, and, and, and or Christ for Israel, all those people and Facebook, all those people on the camp, it's a time now to make your turn. It's a time now to say enough is enough. How long you want Abawi to keep on weaving in two tanks and you sit down in the same place, you don't make no effort to escape from them. It's a time to escape from them. Abawi do not reveal to you something and to sit down on it. No, you get to keep on moving. Hey, Abawi will return to you. It's hasta la vista. I'll see you next time. Thank you, my beloved Shabbat Shalom. As for my people, Israel, she drains at the oppressors and women rules over them. Oh, my people, Israel, they wish lead you. They are misled you on the wrong path, wrong directions. They don't get the white GPS. The GPS to tend their eyes is not Yahshua, it's of Satan. It's a time to wake up. And to find out what time it is before it's too late. My beloved, now let's change the switch from Isaiah to Yahushua, from Jeremiah. From Jeremiah 23, chapter 21. Jeremiah, let's shift now from Isaiah. If we have any chance, we get back to Isaiah, we get back to other first. But now let's go to the book of Jeremiah. In case the time is out, we know we get through it. The book of Jeremiah, 23 chapter verse 21. The book of Jeremiah, 23 chapter and verse 21. So we get a few verses on Jeremiah. Jeremiah, 23 chapter verse 21. The book of Jeremiah, 23 chapter and verse 21. The book of Jeremiah. 23 chapter the book of Jeremiah. 23 chapter and verse 21. Jeremiah. 23 chapter and verse 21. Please. Jeremiah. The book of Jeremiah. The book of Jeremiah. 23 chapter. Verse 21, please. Seems like you are tired today. Like the works. I know that. 
Yeremiah 23, chapter verse 22 and 20 with my bit of olives. I have not seen those prophets yet the one. I have not spoken to those prophets yet the prophesies. Thank you, my beloved sinner. I, Yahweh, have not sent those prophets. Yet the one around claiming to speak for me. I have given them no revelations. I speak to them. But the prophet says, I, Yahweh, have not sent those prophets. Yet the one our one claiming to speak for me, I have given them no revelations. I speak to them whatsoever. The prophet says, how can that be happen when I don't send them? But they claim I'm the one who speak to them. That's why they say, they're coming from Yahweh, right? It's not. Yahweh want to reveal to you the secrets. My beloved Nikki, I have not seen those prophets Yet the one, I have not spoken to those fake prophets, yet the prophesies. My beloved Christopher, I, Yahweh, have not sent those prophets, yet the one around claiming to speak for me. I, Yahweh, have not given them no message. Hello? But they give you message. You accept them. You trust them. You believe them. Don't say, test the spirit, your fools. Start by believe every spirit. But you must test the spirit to see where the spirit is coming from because many false prophets are already gone out of this world. Open up your eyes and see. What time it is? Don't let it be too late. One for your life. Let me see what my beloved Jack and George has to say. I have not seen those prophets, those prophetess, yet. The one. I have not spoken to them, yet the prophesies. I do not send them. I don't give no revelation. I don't give them no message. But they told you about you, my people, with you on trumpets, and you follow them. And I say, I do not send them. I do not recognize them. They don't have my seal. Let me see my beloved Shabbat Shalom. I, Yahweh, have not sent those prophets, yet the prophesies. I have not spoken to them, yet the prophesies. I can nobody spoke to you and you go ahead and you say, I'm coming in the name of TMH, Yawasha, Yawashi. Everybody accept it. No question. But when you say Yahweh, everybody asking you, who is Yahweh? Oh, there is no valve. There is no this. There is no that. There is no this. They're always asking questions when it's about Yahweh. When it's about the truth, when it's about lies, they just um, with it and dance with it. That's great. Let's dance, baby. I love you, baby. Without knowing that when you're in the way, how come this? How come this? Let me see my beloved. Yahweh say, I did not send those prophets, but even so they went, I did not give them any message whatsoever. But the prophet says, Hello. When you say Yahweh, everybody say, who is Yahweh? But when you say TMS, nobody asking question. Dim us I, nobody asking question. Yahweh, everybody accept it. Christ for and Jesus for Christ or for Israel, everybody, whatever you tell to them, they accept. When you say Yahweh, Yahushua, there's always big question asking. Now, let's go to verse 22, please. Verse 22. And to see what Yahweh say to those prophets, those who are followers. Those prophets. <laughs> That's what Yahweh say. Verse 22. Verse 22. So Yahweh don't send those pastors, those prophets, those PhD who want to buy a diploma. Thank you, my beloved and Ramsey. If they had known my secret thoughts, hello, then they could have proclaimed my message to my people people and could bring my people from the sin. But instead of forgive them from sinning, they say, it's okay. God created you that way. Go living in sin, but bring me more time next week, okay? 
if they has known my secret thoughts, then they could have proclaimed my message to my people and could bring my people, stop them from comets, from living in sin and filthiness. Hello? Are we there? What's next? Thank you, my beloved sinner. If those self-proclaimed prophets had stood before me, Yahweh, and listened to me, they could have spoken my words and make my people turn from their wicked ways and stop sinning against me. But they don't. They don't. Anything else, please? We're going to go to verse 23. I'm going to keep on going. Especially those so-called prophetess, do you have witches? There is no such prophetess. The scripture has no word prophetess. But prophet, that will never use a woman prophetess. Only one prophet, that was Jezebel. If anybody prophetess, that means they are Jezebel spirit. My beloved Nikki. But if they had stood in my council and has caused my people to hear my words, Yahweh words, then they should have turned them from the sin, from the wicked deeds. My beloved Shabbat Shalom Baptist. But if they had known my secret thoughts, and I'd cause my people to hear my word, then they would have turned my people from their sin, not to encourage them to live in sin, to live in filthiness, to live in social, sexual immorality, to live their love and abomination against Yahweh. Thank you, my beloved Olives. And Yahweh say, you should no more Rejoice, or you oppress your virgin daughter of Zion. A wise pass over the Christian, there is so much for you. Yes, there are a lot of them. I know there's not a prophetess, but they are Jezebel spirit. There is no such prophetess on the scripture. The only prophetess it was Jezebel because she had a bad spirit. There is no such prophetess on the scripture. That one doesn't exist. Let me see my beloved Christopher. But if they really justly that I stood in my council, then they will have proclaimed my words, my commitments to my people, so my people can turn from the sin. But instead of that, they encourage them. Yes. Verse 22. Yes, verse 22, Shabbat Shalom. Yes, verse 22. Shabbat Shalom, Jeremiah 22, 22, yes. So because of that, there is the difference between grain and the wheat, between the tail and the head. Priscilla and Aquila, they was not prophetess. I bet we can use a person to give a message that don't mean they are prophetess. They, there is no prophetess. Only Zizibel. If you have a Zizibel spirit, yes. But if you don't have a Zizibel spirit, there is no prophetess. Yahweh never used a woman as prophetess. I'm sorry. There's a reason. And I can make a session about that because there is a lot of things you do not know about Yahweh. Remember, about his great men. It take a will from a man to create the woman. The woman is the one who was deceived, not the man. There is no such word as prophetess. Only Jezebel. That's another talk. Yes, that's another talk. Not for tonight, because that's going to take a lot, lot of times, a lot of time to explain why there is no such prophetess. Verse 23, please. Jeremiah 23, 23. Jeremiah 23, 23, please. Jeremiah 23, 23. 
Jeremiah 23:23. Priscilla and Aquila are just a followers. Mr. Yeshua used Mary Magdalene to send a message to his disciple, but that doesn't mean she was a prophetess. Give a message to give somebody, to tell somebody, hey, I wait for you this. And when you become as a prophet, you prophesy and Yahweh name, that's a different thing. That's a big, 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 big different. You can use anybody to give a message. I don't know person is a prophetess. This is Mary of Mary of Magdalene was the one, not, not. And I Yahweh at hand and not at far off, said Yahweh. Hmm. That's the book of Jeremiah 23, 23. Thank you, my beloved Shina. I your creator who is on a close at hand, said Yahweh. No, I am far away at the same time. I will put for I would put for a teaching. Yes, okay. That's okay. Put it for a teaching. Yes. Thank you, my beloved Christopher. Yes. My beloved Alex. World you ship and tarship for type of destroyer. Yes. Jeremiah 23, 23. If not, I will keep on going. The, the time is consumed. Let's go to verse 24 now. Jeremiah 23, 24. Jeremiah 23 and 24. Let's keep on moving. The clock is kicking. The clock is kicking. Jeremiah. I am Almighty Creator and said Yahweh, and not an Almighty are far off. Yahweh said, Do I am a creator? I'm far away. Or I'm close. Which one? I'm not too far. I'm always there. You are the one who run away from me. I never go nowhere. I am a Yahweh at hand, not a Yahweh far off. You taking I'm far off, but I'm here. You are the one who run away from me because of your sinfulness flesh. But I was here. Now let's go to the Jeremiah 24, 24. Can anyone hide from me, Yahweh? Take you my beloved Shina. In a secret place. I am not everywhere in all the paradise and the earth, said Yahweh. Hello? How about we asking a question? For every single one of you thinking you can hide from Yahweh. Or you can run. My friends, this is what Yahweh said. Can anyone hide from me? In a secret place? And I am not everywhere? Hello? If you try to hide from Yahweh, you are in trouble. When Adam was high for Ab by Yahweh, it's not because Abayahweh doesn't know where Adam was, but you want to show him how stupid he is. Do I am not in the our paradise? Yahweh get 100 trillion eyes. You see everything. Abayahweh eyes is open every single person who is of the earth. Thank you, my beloved Odex. Who can hide in a secret place so that I cannot see them? Hello? Who can hide in on the secret place? I cannot see them. The eyes of Abayahweh won and for everybody. My beloved Nikki, can anyone hide himself in his secret places that I shall not see him? Said Yahweh. Do not I feel paradise and earth? Said Yahweh. Can anyone, do I feel them? Do I know everything where I put them? I know the places. I know the time and the hours. And you think now you can hide in from me? Uh uh. My beloved Shabbat Shalom Baptist. Can anyone hide himself in his secret places that I shall not see him? Said Yahweh. Do I feel paradise and earth? Said Yahweh. For the eyes of Yahweh as rovings all over the earth. Yes. About yet, everybody Yahweh. I'll get trillions. 100 trillion eyes. The, the, eyes are the eyes of Abraham upon the good and the bad. It's one. I cannot even know. That's why the lights. The lights. When you see darkness, very careful. You always see more on the darkness when you see light. Now, verse 25 now. Verse 25. 
verse 25. Jeremiah 23, 25. Jeremiah 23, chapter and verse 25. Jeremiah 23, chapter verse 25, please. Jeremiah 23, chapter and verse 25, please. Jeremiah 23, chapter 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 and verse 25, please. Who oversee, please? Jeremiah, Jeremiah. Thank you, my beloved sin. I have heard this prophet say, I listened to the dream I had from Yahweh last night. And then you proceed to tell lies. And, uh, that's your pastor, your elders doing. They always have a dream. They say, Oh, I see God, but they don't see Yahweh. Oh, I see Jesus, but they don't see Yahshua. This is Satan. Take my bit of audience. I have heard what the prophets say who prophesies lies in my name. They say, I have a dream. I have a dream. Hello? I have a dream. Let me see my beloved Christopher. I have heard those self prophets say, listen to the dream. I had from Yahweh, from God, yes, not from Yahweh, last night. And then they proceed to tell lies. All those pastors, those elders, those rabbis, those spiritual leaders, all of them say the same thing. Oh, I have a dream. And you're gonna hear something, you're gonna be ashamed of yourself. My beloved Nikki, I have heard what the prophets say that prophesy lies in my name. Lies and what in my name? They give you Yahwasha, Yahushi, TMH, Yahwa, Jesus, God, Hashem, Adonah, Buddha, Ara, Jehovah, Barada, Maget, Medita, Mayat. It will give all kinds of names. And have and saying, I have a dream, I have a dream. Let listen carefully. How you been deceived? Almost 50 years ago. Which person who say, I have a dream, I have a dream. I see black and white and purple and yellow gonna be together one day. I see the promised land. I see the promised land. One day, one day, black and white, protestant, and ten gonna be in life. I have a dream. Let me see my Bible, Jack and Judges has to say. I have heard what the prophets say that prophesies lies, lies in my name. Saying, I have a dream, I have a dream. I have a dream. Who say I have a dream? I have a dream. What kind of dream that person have? That was Yahweh dream? No. That was Martin Luther King Jr. He said he have a dream. But that was not Yahweh dream. I have a dream. I have a dream. That's the that's the one. Yes, Martin Luther King deception. Yes. I have a dream. I have a dream. One day, black and white. Purple and yellow, see there and hello, gonna be, I see the promised land. America is not the promised land. America is not the land our buyer was promised to the house of Israel. This is a Martin Luther King deception. It was Martin Luther King Jr. dream. It was not Yahweh dream. Now, let's get verse 26. Let's put everything into the table, not under the table. That will give me spirit of love, not fear. I feel no man. Even I walk on the shadow of the valley of death, I will feel no evil, because Yahweh is with me. There is a time and a season that we has appreciated for everything under the sun. Thank you, my beloved sinner. How long, how long will this go on? If they are prophet, they are a prophet of every kind of deceptions, inventing all kind of evil, all kind of lies. Hello? 
How long will this go on? If they are prophets, they are prophets of every kind of deceptions, inventing all kind of lies. I don't say it, Yahweh say it. You have a problem? You have a problem with the word of Yahweh. That's why the word of Abba Yahweh is not negotiable. I'm not a pastor. Thank you, Abba Yahweh. My beloved Nikki, how long shall it be in the mind of the prophet that prophesies lies? I have a dream. Yes. They are prophets of deceit of their own mind, of their own Heart, of their own greed, of their own selfishness, of their own filthy gain. That's what they are. Hello? Now? Let's go to verse 27. Let's keep on moving. Oh, my beloved Christopher, my beloved Shabbat Shalom is behind. Let me wait for them. Let me wait for my beloved Christopher, my beloved Shabbat Shalom, my beloved Oleg. Are you there? Are you there? Let me see what for them. Thank you, my beloved Shabbat Shalom. How long shall this be in the mind of the prophets that prophesied lies? Let they are prophets they sit full in their own thought or their own mind. That's why we see on the camp. That's why we see everywhere. Those prophets, they are at one agenda to get wish into your mind to make you have a business. But not according to the word of Yahweh. My beloved Sina, by telling those fake dreams, they are trying to get my people to forget my name, just as their ancestors did by worship the gods, by worship the dream, by worship those pastors, those ministers. My beloved Alex, next. How long? How long? We discontinue in the mind of those lying prophets, those lying prophets, as a matter of talking deception. I have a dream. I have a dream. I see the promised land. America is not the promised land of Yahweh, was promised to my fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. Brother, come on. It was the land of Canaan, not America. So sometimes they make them just a puppet in order to squeeze my people. How long would they continue in the mind of those lying prophets who prophesize the delusions, the delusion of their own mind? The delusions of their own mind. Yet my beloved Christopher, how long will this go on? If they are prophets, they are prophets of deceit inventing everything they say but i do not talk to them i do not give them message neither they never take any counsel from me my beloved nikki we stick to cause my people to forget my name by the dream which they all everyone to their neighbor at the ancestor did forget my name to worship their own gods Worship Martin Luther King as a god. Until today, there's a street name in Martin Luther King, but there is no street name in Yahshua name. There is a library in Martin Luther King. There is a holidays in Martin Luther King, but there is no holidays, no street name in Yahushua, Paul, Peter. Think about that, you are bunch of fools. Let me see what my bit of Christopher. The suppose the dream that they all want in order will make my people forget my name Yahweh. Just as the ancestors, not the father, my bit of Christopher, the ancestors forget my name for Baal to worship the gods. Forget my name for Baal. My bit of Shabbat Shalom. We stake to cause my people to forget my name. Everybody is Martin Luther King. So they forget Yahweh name. Now it's Martin Luther King. Hello. Are you hearing me? By the dream, they make my people forget my name. 
I have a dream. Everybody smart 2013. They make my dream a God. By the dream which they are, they tell every man to his neighbor. Exactly, fake leader with the prices of course, yes. They took Martin Luther King and they make him as a puppet to mislead those people when they was working for the same God. How many times Martin Luther King went to the White House? Martin Luther King received a Nobel Peace Prize. How many prophets who receive Nobel Peace Prize? They receive a death penalty because of the truth. Not Nobel Peace Prize. We call up your people. How many disciples of Yahshua receive Nobel Peace Prize? Hello? If Martin can think with what you think is is, what about the street name by his name? The federal holidays in Martin Luther King, but they will up your people before it's too late. About the Nobel Peace Prize, even Martin Luther King died, the family is still making money. And those black people are still in bondage. You want me to talk more? That would give me spirit to talk tonight, to tell the truth. They suppose the dream that they tell one another would make my people forget my name just as the ancestor forget my name for bell by worship of the gods as my tenitor king. Now, let's go to verse 27, please. Let's go to verse 27. Everybody worship my tenitor king. Back is so common. Martin Luther King birthday. How about Yahshua? What the federal don't give Yahshua a special place when Yahshua is the one who died for the for his people. Yahshua have nothing. Paul have nothing. Peter have nothing. John have nothing. Matthew have nothing. James has nothing. But Martin Luther King get every every credit because one word. I have a dream. All those blind people taking down the away dream when it's Martin Luther King birthday. When they pay him to mislead you. They pay him as a puppet to mislead you. You are leader and mislead you. That's what the scripture say. Ah, you like it? You don't like it? That's what? It's the truth. I'm not afraid. Don't be afraid for me, okay? Let's see how it will be done. Verse 27, please. The prophet that has a dream, let him tell a dream. Hallelujah. Listen to that. The prophet, take you, my beloved Nikki. The prophet that has a dream, let it tell a dream. And he that has my word, look at the differences. The prophet who has a dream, let it tell the dream. But a prophet that has my word, let him speak my word faithfully what I say. Hello? My beloved Sina, let this first prophet tell the dream. But let my true messenger faithfully proclaim my every word that there is a difference between greens and chaff. Hello? Are we there? Anybody there? Let me see my beloved audience. Let the prophet who has a dream recount the dream. But let the prophet who has my word speaking it faithfully for what as a grain has to do with the wheat. Lights and darkness cannot mix. Expose them. Don't join them. Expose. How them? Expose them. Not join them. Not follow them. Not associate with them. Money cannot make me deny my savior. Uh -uh. I will die first even in my dead body. Mm -mm. Let me see my bit of Christopher. Let this first prophet tell the dreams. But let my two set apart messenger faithfully proclaim my every words. What is different between the grain and the wheat? What is different between darkness and light? 
I don't say but if it's a week, my friends. I'm sorry. I don't say but only three times a year. That's why we're talking about the first fake faiths about the Jewish people. I don't say but Jewish faiths. I'm not a Jewish. I'm an Israelite from the job of Levi's. I'm a priest. Now verse 28, please. I don't say but feast of week. There is no such feast a week. Feast of it is Sabbath. This happy happy Sabbath. Shabbat is not a feast. It's something we do every week. I will say six days do you only but the seven days is the day of fix. Let me see my, my beloved Shabbat as you say. The prophet that is as a dream, let him tell the dream, and that my prophet who at my word, you see the dream, the prophet who has the dream and my word, and Yahweh see my word, let them tell you faithfully my words. <laughs> Hello. Keep going and spell not the foolishness of the wicked. I cannot spare them. It's to expose them. The time is now. Nobody knows what tomorrow brings. Yes. Now, let's go to verse 28, please. Verse 28. Yeah, you're my out. Does not my word burn like a fire? Said Abba Yahweh. If he not like a almighty armor that is mass in work and to pieces. Hello? It is not my word that's that's my beloved Oleg. It is not my word like a fire, declared Yahweh, and like a hammer that break a work to pieces. You see Yahweh when it's a hammer, it boom. And I'm gonna use my telecat engineer. Uh-uh. He was a puppet of the government, not to Yahweh. My bit of naked is not my word like as a fire, said Yahweh, and like a hammer that breaks the rock into pieces. No, my word is a fire, and I'm going to use my tenetal king junior to say you have a dream, but not my words, my words, not my dream. <laughs> Yahweh see. They have a dream. Let them tell you a dream. Because they are lies. For the faith again. Let me see my beloved Shina. Does not my word burn like a fire? Says Yahweh. It is not like a mighty hammer that smashes a rock to pieces. So I'm going to use this guy. Uh-uh. No way. My words is not, it's not a dream of them. My word, let my messenger tell you my word faithfully, but let the first prophet tell you the dream because they want to make you forget Yahweh names. But I don't want to let you work Yahweh name. Let me see my beloved bullets. That's up, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay, my beloved Olex. That's all right, no problem. Don't worry about nothing, don't be sorry. We all make a mistakes, but I understand you are very, very honest. Honesty is the key of salvation. Now, verse 29, please. Verse 29. Verse 29. It's okay to make a happy face. There is no problem. Is not my word like a fire, my beloved Shabbat, seven Baptist, said Yahweh, and like a hammer that the brick work into pieces? Now we say, you take, I'm going to take my word and for people to make money off it, know that they're on dream. But let my messenger and tell you my word faithfully according to what I say, not what they dream, not their own inventions, not their own lies, not their own selfish gains. But my words. It's not my word like a fire, said Yahweh, and like a hammer. That breaks the rock into pieces. Now verse 30. Now verse 30. Now verse 30. Let's see what verse 30 said. Verse 30. Verse 30. Verse 30. Therefore said Yahweh. Thank you, my beloved Shina. Then Yahweh said, I am against those prophets who steal my message. From each other and proclaim they are from me. Everybody come. I have a dream. 
from God, from Jesus, from Allah, from Aya, from TMH, from Yahweh, but not from Yahweh. It's impossible. My beloved Christopher, therefore said Yahweh, I am against those self spoken prophets who steal my message from each other and claim they spoke to me when I never spoke to them. Hello? Look at your pastors, at your elders. Do they fight between one another? Look at those rabbis. They fake Yom Ashana, Wash Ashana, the Feast of Trumpets. Because Yahweh yeah, don't send them. That's why they are lies just of, of the sake of money. My beloved Nikki, therefore behold, I am against the prophet, said Yahweh, that use the tongue and say, Yahweh said. I'm against the prophet, say Yahweh, that use the tongues and say Yahweh said. This is God say, Jesus say, Allah say, Buddha say, Yahweh say, TMA say. They, they receive everything except Yahweh. Let me see my beloved Olegs. Therefore, I declare Yahweh, I am against the prophets who steal from one another words supposedly from me. Supposedly from me. But I do not know them. I do not send them. Now, let's go to verse 31, please. Let's go to verse 31. Let's go to verse 31. Let's go to verse 31. My beloved Nikki, you put 39 is 30. Is 29, 31. Now let's go to 32. Let's go to 32 now. Therefore, said Yahweh, behold, I am against the prophets, said Yahweh, that steal my words, steal the eyeballs of thieves. My house should be called a house of prayer for all, but you're turning turn it into a den of thieves. Shabbat Shalom Baptist. Therefore, so said Yahweh, before I am against the prophet, said Yahweh, that is still my word, everyone from his neighbor. My beloved Shina, thank you. I am against the smooth tongues prophets who said this prophecy is from Yahweh, the Almighty Creator. I am against those smooth tongues, Justin, Clifford Dollar, TG James, all of them. They are a bunch of thieves. Yes, declare the Yahweh, my beloved audience. I am against the prophet who wag their own tongues. And yet they declared, Yahweh declare. When Yahweh don't even spoke to them, or consult them, or give them any message, they lie. Oh, I see TMH. I see Jesus. I see God. Yes, they are see Satan. They are see the devil. They are see Lucifer's. Because you can recognize them by the fruit, by the actions. The way they live, the way they talk, the way they walk, the way they eat, the way they party, the way they make everything. Open up your eyes and see what time it is. Now, let's go to the book of 34. Do I get it? 34? The book of 34, please. 34. I, Yahweh, I am against Christopher, you was there, thank you. I am Yahweh against those first prophets the imaginary dreams are flagrant lies that they lead my people into sin oh god love you the way you are he creates you the way you are he creates you as, as a homosexual he creates you as a bad sexual he creates you as a pedophile Equate you as a gay and lesbian? How can he create you that way? Open up your eyes and see what time it is. See what is going on around you. 
Verse 22, please. Verse 24, I mean. Verse 24. Verse 24. Verse 24. Verse 24. Verse 34. Verse 34, please. Verse 34. Thank you, my beloved Nikki. Behold, I am against them that prophesy false dreams, said Yahweh, and do tell them and cause my people to err by the dream, by the lies, by the deception by the first thought if a prophet thank you my beloved Oleg if a prophet or a priest or anyone else claim this is a message from Yahweh I will punish them and the whole family hello hello anybody there somebody here my beloved sinner if any false prophet, priest, or anyone else say, I have a prophecy from Yahweh, I will punish that person along with all his family, his generations. Do those pastors know that? Do those elders know about that? They do not know because they are blind, they are deaf. My beloved Sabbath show. Behold, I'm against them that prophesize first dream, said Yahweh, and do let the teeth cause my people to err by the first dream. My beloved Christopher, if any prophet, priest, or anyone else say, I have a prophecy from Yahweh, I will punish the person along with all his generations, all his family. Those pastors, those elders, you are in trouble. You don't even know who is Yahweh. You don't play with person character unless you know that person. Don't play with dice. Don't play with fire. My beloved Nikki. And as for the prophets and the priests and the people that shall say the burden of Yahweh, I will punish them. I will bring that man and his family. Encouraging them to keep sinning, yes. Again, the set apart spirit of Yahweh wrote to your pastors, preachers, and leaders, and the teachers of the law, hypocrites, but as they are. Now, verse 26. 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 Yeremiah 23, verse 26. That's going to be the last verse for now and here in Yeremiah 36, verse 36. We skip 35 and 36. Verse 36, please. We skip 35. We will do 36, please. That's going to be the next verse for Jeremiah for tonight. And we're going to keep on tuning something else. Jeremiah 23 chapter and verse 36, please. Jeremiah 23 chapter and verse 36, please. Anyone with wisdom with understanding let us calculate it who are those false prophets are not just all the spirit test the spirit you must see where the spirit is coming from prove all ten where is what our tonight's coming from thank you my beloved Oleg. but you must not mention a message from yahweh again because each one word become their own message so you cannot speak about Yahweh anymore. If anyone do not speak according to the word of Yahweh, curse be unto them. 
Cursed be to those pastors. Cursed be those elders. Cursed be to those messengers, the false prophets. Cursed to those rabbis, the Jewish people, and curse be opened all the spiritual leaders. My beloved sinner, but stop using those false phrases. I am prophesying from the Lord, the Most High, the Creator, and so on, for people to see you are. You have communications with Satan, but not with Yahweh. My beloved Christopher, but stop using this phrase prophesized from Abba Yahweh, for people are using it to give authority to their own ideas. Stop using this phrase. Prophesize from Yahweh, prophesize from God, from Jesus, from Adonai, from Hashem, from Buddha, from Allah, from Jehovah, from Aya, Asha, Aya, Yahua, Yawashi, Yahua, TMH, Israel for Christ. Hello. So many deceptions. My friends, now let's go to the book of first people. First people, or oh, let me work for my beloved Shabbat Shalom. My beloved Shabbat Shalom, let me work for her. I know she has the answer. It's coming soon. Let's wait for her. My beloved Shabbat Shalom. My beloved Nikki. My beloved Shabbat Shalom. My beloved Nikki. My beloved Shabbat Show, my beloved Nikki. My beloved Shabbat Show, my beloved Nikki, where are you? Are you there? I'm going to keep on pushing. Thank you, my beloved Shabbat Show. And the burden of Yahweh's soul you mention no more, for every man word shall be his burden. For you have perverted the word of Yahweh perverted the word of Yahweh. That's what those pastors are doing, those elders. Are you going to still go back to them? Or are you going to change? You have to make a decision. All the faith fees, because of the sake of money, commercialized fees, was asana, was trumpet, the more fees, the more money you will spend. The more you give to them. It's about money. It's not about Yahweh. The time to wake up. Now, my bit of naked. Can I keep on pushing? First Peter 2 chapter verse 9. Can I keep on going? First Peter. First Peter. First Kepha. 2 chapter verse 9, please. First Peter. 2 chapter verse 9. First Peter. 2 chapter verse 9, please. First Peter. 2 chapter verse 9, please. First Kepha, to chapter verse 9, please. First Peter, to chapter and verse 9, please. First Peter, to chapter verse 9. First Peter, thank you, my beloved Nikki. And the burden of Yahweh you shall meet to no more. For every man word shall be his burden, for you have perverted. The word of Yahweh. Thank you, my beloved Nathan. Now, the book of First Peter, First Peter, two chapter verse nine. Almost there. First Peter, two chapter and verse nine, please. First Peter, two chapter and verse nine. First Kepha, two chapter and verse nine, please. First Peter. Two chapter verse nine. First Peter, thank you, my beloved Shina. But you are not like that, for you are a chosen people. You are a royal priest, a set apart nation, Yahweh, every one's people. Think carefully. Thank you, my beloved audience. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a set-apart nation, 
Yahweh a special possession that you may glorify the name of Yahweh. You are a chosen people. You are not a black Hebrew Israelite. You are not an African American. You are not Asian Americans. You are not Jamaican Americans. You are not Mexican Americans. You are not a Negro. You are of a nation, a chosen people, the children of Israel. Thank you, my beloved Christopher. But you are not like that. You are not a Negro. You are not a black people. You are not a African Americans. You are not a Mexican Americans. You are not a Jamaican Americans. You are not a Haitian Americans. You are of the house of Israel. You are a chosen people of Yahweh. You are a wild priesthood, a set apart people, set apart to Yahweh, to do Yahweh will. Let nobody call you African American. Are you born in Africa? No. Thank you, my beloved Nikki. But you are a chosen generation, a chosen generation. Not black Hebrew Israelites, not Africans Americans, not Jamaicans American, not Negro, not black. Your nationality, you are an Israelite, a chosen people. A peculiar people from our by Yahweh chosen one. Set you apart to do Israel. Thank you, my beloved Shabbat Shalom. But you are a chosen generation, a chosen, not calling. You are not a black American. You are not an African American. You are not a Negro. Your identity is you are an Israelite. Don't let nobody call you African American. Don't let nobody call you Jamaicans Americans, Haitians Americans, Mexicans Americans, Puerto Ricans Americans. You are not of black. It's not about black and white and purple and yellow. It's about you are an Israelite. The Israelite people are on the four corner of the earth. We call up before it's too late. Don't take no part from nobody. You are not black, you are not a Negro, you are not an African American, you are of the house of Israel, a chosen people from Yahweh and this generation to do the will of Abba Yahweh. Because they've been lost. Now is a time Abba Yahweh say he has appointed a time and a season for everything. Now, let's take verse 10, please. Verse 10. Let's take verse 10. Second Peter 9, verse 10. The truth is the truth. A time and a season. Our buyer will as apprentice for everything under the sun. A time and a season. Now is a time for this season. The harvest is great, but the workers are only few. And that's working by the time, the daytime before the night time coming, nobody can walk. Now, second Peter, first Peter to chapter and verse 10. Now, please, yes, you are a chosen people, the children of Israel. There is nothing hiding under the sun, and Yah by Yahweh, we're not going to reveal to you at its own time. That's why you happen it down. Thank you, my beloved Sina. Once you had no identity as a people, but now you are Yahweh people. Once you receive no mercy, but now you have received mercy. Don't let nobody call you African Americans anymore. Hello? Are we there? Don't let nobody call you African American or Negro. You are not. You are. You should not be saved. Once you as no identity as a person, but now Abayahweh has revealed to you who you are. Once you receive no mercy, but now you are received mercy from Abayahweh. Don't let nobody call you any name they want. Say, hey, hey, I am an Israelite. 
I am a chosen people. I am Yahweh chosen one. Not the Jewish people. I am the chosen one. Not the Jewish people. The Jewish people choose by Satan, but I choose by Abba Yahweh. Let me see my beloved colleagues. Once you were not a people, but now you know Abba Yahweh has revealed to you who you are. Once you have no mercy, now you receive mercy, but now you have received a mercy. Abba Yahweh have a mercy upon you. My beloved Christopher, once you were not a people, yesterday maybe next, last month you was not a people, but now you are a people. You are Yahweh chosen people, not the Jewish people. You are the chosen people. You are not Africans, Americans. Don't let nobody pick them or dance with you. Now your identity is no longer hiding. Only you can hide in yourself. But I will, I will read to you the truth. Let the truth set you free. It's better to die for something and to live for nothing. My friends, my beloved Shabbat Shalom. Which is a time pass. In the time pass, we are not a people, but are now the people of Yahweh. Hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh. Which has no obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy by the grace and mercy. I will have a mercy to whom I choose to have a mercy. And I will have a compassion to whom I choose to have a compassion, said Yahweh, the Almighty Creator. My beloved Nikki, which in the time past, we are not a people, but now we are the people of Yahweh, the chosen people, not the Jewish people. We don't need to watch Asana. We don't need to watch trumpet. We need Passover. We need the unleavened, but we need the first fruit three times a year, said Yahweh. Hello, are we there? We don't need the Jewish people to follow the footstep. We need to follow your master, Yeshua, your savior, your redeemer. Follow his footsteps, not the Jewish people. They are on the darkness. The earth is full with darkness. Our Bible make their ears doors. The eyes, they are blind, they cannot see. Now let's go to verse 11, please. Now we stand mercy. You are who you are today. Let nobody call you Africans, Americans. Are you not Africa? No. Are you born in Africa? No. How dare they call you African Americans? Are you not born? You cannot get to continent. Are you from two citizenship? You are an African and American at the same time? Are you born in Africa? No. How do they say you are African Americans? Passover, yes. Unleavened bread and first food. That's said two times a year. We don't need to follow the Jewish. Fable the Jewish lies and deceptions. Three times a year is the three times a year. That's it. No more, no less. Passover, death of Yahshua, unleavened by the burial of Yahshua, and the first food, the resurrection of Yahshua Amashiach is the only way. After that, there's no other ways. Whatever you do, you're wasting of your time. Waste of time. Waste of money. Waste of energy, waste of everything. Don't listen to the blast leaders. They are not chosen. They are not chosen by Yahweh. Take you, my beloved sinner. Dear beloved, I warn you as a temporary residence and foreigners of the earth to keep away from what the desire that work your soul. from you. This is the word of Yahweh revealed to you tonight. If far off a soul reveals myself to my people Israel, said Yahweh, yes. My beloved Nehemiah, dearly beloved, I beset you as a stranger, a stranger, you are not a citizen of this country. You are a stranger. You pass by. You are a pilgrim. Abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the, your soul. Abstain. War which war against the soul. Abstain from the fleshly lusts 
which war against the soul when you see in the world what you see it's only one thing you must extend from flesh the loss which war against the soul otherwise you are doomed. Let me see my bit of Christopher, my bit of Shabbat Shalom, what they have to say. My bit of Christopher, my bit of Shabbat Shalom Baptist. My bit of Oleg, go enjoy the turn. My bit of Oleg, my bit of Oleg, my bit of Christopher, my beloved. Shabbat Shalom Baptist, my beloved. Thank you, my beloved Christopher. They are beloved as strangers and refugees in this world. We are foreigners. We are strangers. We are not a citizen. Yahshua say, my kingdom is not of this world. And this world, do not give in to bodily passions. We are always at war against your soul. My beloved, Shabbat Shalom, my beloved audience, dear friend, I urge you as a foreigners, not as a citizen, as a foreigners, that means this world is not ours. As a foreigners in exile, we are in exile because of our disobedience. We are in captivity and in bondage. But this is not our country. To abstain from sinful desire, which was war against your soul. That's why the world is offering you. That's why you receive sickness, disease, and all kinds of calamities because war the flesh the body the passions which are always at war against your soul my beloved shabbat shalom dearly beloved i beseech you as a strangers a pilgrims abstain from fleshly laws which was against the soul I beg on you, you as a stranger, as a foreigners, I stem from fleshly laws which are against your soul. I stem from all the things. Now, let's go to the book of Women, 11, chapter, verse 8. The book of Woman, 11, chapter, verse 8, please. The book of Woman, 11, chapter, verse 8. The book of Woman, 11, chapter, verse 8, please. The book of Woman, 11, chapter, verse 8. We're almost going to close. We're going to close. We're going to close. Two or three more verses, we close. Maybe one more verse, we are close. Woman 11 chapter verse 8, please. Woman 11 chapter verse 8. Woman 11 chapter verse 8, please. Woman 11 chapter verse 8. 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 Women 11 chapter verse 8. Women 11 chapter verse 8. Women 11 chapter verse 8. Take you, my beloved Shina. As the scripture say, 
Yahweh has put them into a deep sleep to this day. He has shut their eyes so they do not see. And said they hear they cannot understand. As the scripture declare, Yahweh has put all those into a deep sleep to this day. You understand it? Yahweh has shut the eyes so they cannot see. And Yahweh shut the ears they cannot hear. If they hear, they will come back to him and hear them. He don't want them to hear. So he shut up the eyes. Yahweh doing that. A bit of Nikki, as it is with him. Yahweh has given them a spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear, unless they come in. And here I will hear them. But Yahweh said it that way. Yahweh said it that way. You think Yahweh play dice? Yahweh doesn't play dice. Yahweh doesn't play dice. You think Yahweh played us? Yahweh played us. Thank you, my beloved Shabbat Shalom. Woman 11, subterfuge. According as it is written, I by Yahweh has given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should see, ears that they should not understand until today. Why are we doing that? Let's put the book of Acts, Isaiah 29, chapter verse 10. Yeshua 29, chapter verse 10. Isaiah 29, chapter verse 10. Isaiah 29, chapter verse 10, please. Isaiah 29, chapter verse 10. Yahushua give the spirit of stupor, eyes that cannot see and ears that cannot hear, unless they hear and come to me and I will hear them. Oh, hallelujah. Mm, 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 mm. The book of Isaiah 29, chapter verse 10. The book of Acts 29, chapter verse 10, please. Thank you, my beloved Shina. For Yahweh has poured out upon you the work of deep sleep. And as close your eyes, the prophets and your rulers, that they cannot hear or understand nothing. Thank you, my bit of Greek. So much shalom to you. Welcome back. <laughs> they let you on the way? That's good. Praise Yahweh. For Yahweh has put you out of the street of deep sleep. He has closed your eyes, the prophet or your ruler of the prince that you cannot see or understand Yahweh has to cause that way it's not an accident when you see do no one to listen to no one because Yahweh set the stage that way thank you my beloved Oleg Yahweh has poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep and has closed your eyes the prophet and your rulers and your leaders that even they want to see, they cannot see. Even they want to understand, they don't want to understand. So, but shalom, my beloved Greek. Welcome back. Maybe you might be of Nikki. For Yahweh has poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. And have closed your eyes. Yahweh closed their eyes. They cannot see. And your rulers, your leaders, your spiritual leaders, your pastors, your elders, your rabbis. I will close the eyes. I will get that. Close the eyes. Your prophets, your rulers, your leaders, your pastors, your ministers. 
everyone that will close their eyes you want them to hear because they are so stupid my beloved shabbat shalom for yahweh has poured out upon you the spirit of this sleep always sleeping they work just like a zombie that's the dead man walking Yahweh has closed your eyes, the prophets, your rulers, your leaders, your priests, your pastors, your elders, and your ministers. Let's see. Now, let's go to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah first chapter. Isaiah first chapter, verse 14. Please. Let's go to it. Let's go to that. I will have to close it to ask, ask, ask watch out by Yahweh. Ask him. Isaiah first chapter verse 13, please. Let's close it to that verse. I bet I will say you want to close tonight with these verses. Isaiah first chapter verse 13, please. Yes, you first chapter verse 13. Isaiah first chapter verse 13. Yes, you first chapter verse 13, please. Isaiah first chapter verse 13. Isaiah, first chapter verse 13, please. Let's see what Yahweh has to say to those leaders, to those hypocrites. Let's see what Yahweh has to say. Isaiah, Yeshua, first chapter verse 13. Yeshua, the book of Isaiah, first chapter verse 13. Thank you, my beloved Odex. Stop bringing meaningless orphans, your incense. Your detestable to me. Mm. Your new moons, your Sabbath, and your convocations I cannot be for worthless assembly. Hello? Stop bringing me your meaningless gift. The incense of your offerings disgusting me. As for your celebrations of the new moon, of the Sabbath, of the special days that your appointed feasts your fasting day they are all sinful and false i want no more of your pious meeting your hypocrisy meeting your appointed feasts as you wash colors was ashana feast or trumpet i don't need no more Where my beloved she now? You sleeping? Wake up. How about you, my beloved Nikki? My beloved Shabbat Shalom? You're tired? You're not going to be there. I'm almost done. Stop. Thank you, my beloved Christopher. It's useless to bring your offerings. I Yahweh, I'm disgusted with the smell of the incense you're born. Yahweh cannot stand them. The priest and the Catholic Church. The, the burn incense is an abomination against Yahweh. When you go to the churches, the burn incense. There's no more high priest, there's no more temple. What's the meaning? Burning incense. My beloved, stop bringing me your meaningless gift. The incense of your offering, disgust. Mm, I cannot smell them no more. Uh -uh. As for your appointed feast, your new moon. Your new moon, your Sabbath, your opportunity for fasting, they are all sinful and false. I want no more. I want no more of them. A slime assembly. My beloved Shabbat Shalom, or my beloved Nikki, bring no more vain offerings, incense, an abomination to me. The new moon and Sabbath. The calling of assembly. Let's see the next verse. Verse 14. Let's see what Yahweh see in verse 14. What Yahweh see in verse 14. We almost done away. Verse 14. Verse 14. Verse 14, please. Let's see what Yahweh say. Verse 14. Verse 14. Let's see what Yahweh say. Verse 14. Verse 14. Verse 14. Let's see what Yahweh say in verse 14. Verse 14. Verse 14. 
You see how we first up to verse 14? You see how first up to verse 14? That you might be Lord Sina. I hate your new moon. I hate, I hate your new moon celebration and your annual festival. This like what Sasana, Yom Kippur, was Asana, Anuka, Maccabi, Esther, Purim, Thanksgiving, Mother Day, Father Day, whatever you are appreciated, you always say, I hate. They have become a burden to me. I'm tired of them. Hello? My beloved Greek. Your new face, your new moon face. Your appreciated festival as was a goddess, was a sana. Feast of trumpet. Yom Kippur. Anuka, Esther, Maccabee, St. Valentine's Day. I I have no pleasure on this thing. Don't bring to me no more. My beloved Shabbat Shalom. My beloved audience, your new moon's face and your appointed face, but I hate with all my being. Hello, you know what a person say? Your new moon? There's no such new moon. Yeah, we never said to celebrate new moon. Your new moon feast and your appointed and your appointed feast. Not your yeah, appointed feast. Your appointed feast. Those the rabbi, those Jewish people appointed. I hate with all my being. My beloved Shabbat Shalom Baptist. Your new moon and your appointed face, my soul hates. They are a trouble to me. I'm tired to beat him. Tired. My bit of Nikki, your new moon and your appointed feast, my soul hate. They are a trouble to me. I am worthy of pure Now, verse 15. Verse 15. Verse 15. Verse 15. Verse 15. We almost there. Verse 15. Let's see what Yahweh say. Your new moon. There is no such new moon. Yahweh said, do not bow down to anything he created above beneath the sea. Yahweh created the moon is for a sign and to give light to the earth. Not to bow down or to worship. But now they worship the moon. There is 12 new moon in the year. How can you can choose a new moon in order to say with Yahweh feast when Abba will give you a specific instructions? Requirements. So those people, they are unqualified to do Yahweh way. Thank you, my beloved Sina. When you left off your hand and prayer, I will not look. To you offer many prayer, I will not listen to your to your. Because your hand is full with blood. Thank you, my beloved Alex. When you spread out of your hand and prayer, I hide my eyes from you. Because your hand is full with blood. When you left off your hand and prayer, Yahweh will not look. To you offer many prayer, Yahweh will not listen to you. Hello? Now, let's go to verse 15, please. Let's go to verse 15. Verse 15. Verse 15. Verse 15. Verse 15. Thank you, my beloved Nikki. And when you spread forth your hand, I will hide my eyes from you. Yes. When you make many prayers, I will not gonna hear you. Because you commit too much abominations against me. I hate what you're doing. I don't take no pleasure on them. What make you think I'm gonna listen to your prayer? My beloved Nikki. And when you spread your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Yes. When you make many prayers, I will not hear you. My beloved Shabbat Shalom. And when you spread forth your hand, 
I will hide my eyes from you. Yes. When you make many prayers, I will not gonna listen. Thank you, my beloved Shina. Watch yourself. Listen what you will say. Listen what the requirement you will say. Watch yourself and be clean. Get your sin out of my sight. Give up your evil way. Listen the condition you will give. Yahweh said, wash yourself first. Make yourself clean. That's two. Remove your evil of your deed from my before my eyes. That's two. And Yahweh said, cease to do evil. That's five. Keep on continuing. My bit of wash and make yourself clean. Take your evil deed out of my sight. My bit of naked. Wash and clean yourself. Put away your evil doing from before my eyes. Cease to do evil. My beloved Christopher. And learn to do good. Thank you, my beloved. Christopher. Learn to do good. Learn to do what is right. See that justice is done. Help those who are oppressed. Give offerings the rise and defend the widows. Thank you, my beloved Shabbat Shalom. Wash you, make you clean. Put away the evil of your doing from before my eyes. Cease to do evil. Verse 17 now. Almost go over it. Verse 17. The Christopher has already closed it. And learn to do right. See that justice and is done. Help those who are in oppression. Give offering the rise and defend the widows. Verse 17. We get two more verse to go. Verse 17. As a first chapter, verse 17. Where is my beloved Shina? She might be tired. Where's my beloved? Alex, you might be tired. You are tired. Okay, let's go to verse 18. No, verse 17. Thank you, my beloved Shina. Learn to do good. Seek justice. Help the oppressor. Defend the cause of the orphans. Fight to the rights of the widows. Do you see all the requirements Yahweh is asking to do? My beloved Nikki. Learn to do well. Seek judgment. Relieve the oppressors. Judge the fatalists. Plead the widows. My beloved Christopher, let me see my beloved Oleg. Learn to do right, seek justice, defend the oppressors. Are we doing it? No. Learn to do what is right. Learn to do well, seek judgment, relieve the oppressor, judge the fatherless, plead for widows. And now, I will say, come now, let us set up this way. To your sin, a large scarlet, Yahushua will make them as white as snow. Hello. Verse 18. Verse 18. Abba will make all those kind of requirements. And after it say, to all, all that requirements, clean yourself, my beloved sinner. Come now. After all those requirements, if you qualify, if you are qualified, Yahweh said, come now, let's settle these, said Abba Yahweh. To your sin, Allah, ten uh, is scarlet. I will make them as white as snow. Even your sin is make them as white. They are just like scarlet, ten is like scarlet. But I can make them white, white, pure as snow. We get two more verse to go. Two more verse to go. Two more verse to go. Where is my beloved Nikki? My beloved Oleg? My beloved Shabbat Shalom? Shabbat Shalom to you, my friend. Thank you, my beloved Nikki. Come now. 
and let us reason together. And Yahweh truth, your sin is as correct. They should be as white as snow. True. They are. Just like red. As scarlet. I bear we can make them white as snow. Wash them away. But you cannot sin no more. It's my bit of Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat. Shalom Baptist. My beloved, where are you? Are you there? Almost there. Almost there. Thank you, my beloved Shabbat Shalom Baptist. If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. That's not verse 17. If you are willing and obedient, you should eat the food of the land. You are to do what? You get to be willing. That's number one. You have to be obedient. Then you should eat the food of the land. Without that, you will die starving. Die in starvation. I bet you will always be a condition. If you are willing, let me see my beloved Christopher. If you are only obeying me, I buy your way, you will eat the good, the best of the best things the land produce. Hello? My beloved Shina. If you will only obey me, only, that's all requirement is obedience is better than sacrifice. If you can obey Yahweh, you eat, eat everything plenty. We have plenty to eat. You will never be in starvation. You will never die hungry. I will always provide for you. But there's a condition. You must be qualified. Now verse 20. Verse 20 now. Verse 20. 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 If you're willing to be obedient, you will eat the good of the land. If you are willing and obedient, you are willing. Thank you, my beloved sinner. But if you turn away from my commitment and refuse to listen, you will be devil with the sword, for the mouth of Yahweh has spoken it. Hello. Thank you, my beloved sinner. Thank you, my beloved Shabbat Shalom. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured with the sword for the mouth of Yahweh as a pregnant. My beloved Christopher, but if you turn away and refuse to listen and obey my commandments, you will be devoured by the sword your enemies, of your enemies. You'll be devoured by the sword of your enemy. My beloved Nikki, but if you refuse, that means you know that you are refused and rebelled. You shall be devoured with the sword for the mouth of Yahweh has spoken it. My beloved Zach and Jesus. But if you refuse and resist it, the, word, the sword should consume you for the mouth of Yahweh has spoken it. My friends, this scripture told in the truth. There is no way now for you to get back to the way you are before. In the time of ignorance, our Bayah will overlook at it. But now your Bayah will command every man, no matter where they are, to repent from their wickedness. Yes, that's deep, yes. Yes, if you refuse and resist, the sword will consume you, for the mouth of Yahweh has spoken. It's not my mouth, it's Yahweh speaking his own word. So it is a time now to acknowledge and to walk in an obedience with Yahweh. Because what we see happen today, everyone in the world, especially in the United States of America, is nothing compared what happened by Yahweh. As in we say for those who are refused and rebel to obey his commitment by rejected wisdom and accepted knowledge from Satan. My friends, I thanks Abba Yahweh for all of you who know who you are today. 
for people to start by calling you black, white, Africans, Americans, or Negro. You are not a Negro. You are not an African American. You are of the house of Israel. You are the chosen people, Jewish generations. You are Yahweh people. It's not the Jewish people who are Yahweh people. You are Yahweh people. The children of Israel. Yahweh has made the covenant with the house of Israel, not the house of Jewish, not the Jewish people, not the Judaism, or not Judaica, or whatsoever, but the house of Israel. You are of the house of Israel. Let nobody call you by names. You have to stand for what you believe. I am an Israelite. Don't dare call me African American anymore. And reject it when you feel any applications. Don't put you are an African. Put you are an Israelite. This is your this is your identity. I will reveal to you. I bear we thank you so much for everything, for the revelation you reveal to your people Israel. I bear we. Thank you for your Sabbath day. Thank you for your set apart day. Thank you for your blessing day. Thank you for everything, Abayawe. You has made, you has created. Abayawe, I'm asking you, every single person who has listened to your word, they have been misled and deceived by what's Ashana, by Feast of Trumpet, by Yom Kippur, by, by whatsoever the, the man made holidays. I'm asking you, Abayawe, to protect them from all the corruptions, from all the false dream, the false prophet, the false spirit who come out and to deceive your people. Abayawe, I'm asking you to preserve them, to protect them, to bless them, and to give them a new week, Abayawe. Give them a new spirit, a new mind. Abayawe, don't take away your spirit, but renew of the mind. Abayawe, I'm asking you, Abayawe, to bless every single of one who are willing to be obedient, to feed, and the good food, the best of the food of the land produce. Abayawe, I'm asking you to keep them safe, to bless them, to protect all them who are going to go to work. No matter what they're going to drop, they go out, preserve them, protect them, and bless them. Abayawe, keep them from the temptation of this wicked world. And those who are blessed your, your, your ministry, those who are giving, who have a spirit of giving, who support your ministries, who love your ministry, who get a zeal for ministry, uh, but yeah, we will give in to your ministry for your people who are everywhere in the world who have been enslaved and deceived by the Jewish tradition, by the black Hebrew tradition. Now you can reveal your people your truth. They can know the truth everywhere in the world. People everywhere in the world now have the opportunity to listen to your word. Not according to the dream of the first prophet, but according to your own word, your own warning, and your approach then. I pray away, bless those who bless you, honor those who honor you, and keep them safe, and open up the paradise, and shower them with your blessing. For all those who are by away, who participate in your blessing, for all those who are giving, for all those who want to give, but who don't have to give to participate in your ministry. I pray away, their presence only is satisfied. Their presence only is a blessing. By quoting your spirit is a blessing. It's not because they cannot give you a penny, a dime, they not bless. I'm asking you to bless them, Abba Yahweh. They can have, they can share to their things. May Abba Yahweh bless you. May Abba Yahweh give his face shy upon you, be gracious to you. May Abba Yahweh if it's continued upon you and give you shalom. Be shem Yahshua, Amashiach, say shalom. Be shem Yahshua, Amashiach, say shalom. Be shem Yahshua, Amashiach, say shalom. In the name of Yahshua HaMashiach, the only Savior, the only name above everything from the name. The only name, see, I am the way, I am the life, and I am the truth. Yahshua HaMashiach, the kings, the milk of Israel, the kings, milk of Israel, not the king of Jews. Your, your king is coming soon to you. Hold in there. Don't be discouraged. Kazakh, Kazakh, be strong. It's not going to be easy. But the wave you see in your life is not to destroy you, but it's to clean you, to set you apart in order for you not to be polluted, to be defiled yourself from the pollution of this wicked world. May Abaya we bless all of you. May Abaya we bless your new week and provide for you. Those who are sick, may Abaya we heal you. 
those who are in need, may Abba will provide for you. Those who are going to walk it, who are going to sleep, may Abba will protect you and keep you safe from the all sickness, all disease created by men, with all the environments, may Abba will be with you and keep your family and you safe in the name of Yeshua Amashiach. I am messenger Daniel. Until next time, say Shalom Alehem. Peace be today. May our by our blessing be upon you and upon your family. And I will see you next time. If it is by the will of Abayawe, may Abayawe love and mercy be with all of you. In the name of Yeshua Amashiach. The name of Yeshua Amashiach. Now let's go to Abba Yahweh. May Abba Yahweh be with you. All is sacrifice to the truth. Yes. Don't let nobody deceive you no more. Don't go back. Don't look back. Stand firm. No matter what the waves, no matter what you heard, don't turn back. It's the focus. It's the focus. Try to get the prize. Because the prize is not the way you're taking. Come on. I love all of you. May I buy our peace with you. Free from all the corruption of this world. Free from all the deception, all the lies, all the fake things, the first holidays. Come on. I'm free. I'm free from all the deception of this wicked world. Thank you, Abba Yahweh. Are you are free? Come on. Come on. I've come too far. Don't look back. No matter what happened in your life, keep on pushing. If you do not know how to do push up, learn how to do push up. Keep on pushing. Don't look back. Never look back. Yes, hallelujah. Peace to Yahweh. Come on. Be healthy, Yahweh. Be your shield. Yes, come on. If Yahshua set you free, you are free indeed. Let Yahshua set you free tonight. Let Yahshua be the master of your life. I'm free, I'm free. How about you? Are you are free? Free from all the deception of this wicked world. The deception of your Jewish people. Never look back. Never. Never look back. Don't be just like, come on. You've gone too far to be where you are tonight. Come on. Don't look back. Be in good going. Do not be discouraging. Be strong. Kaza, kaza. Nothing gonna be easy. But keep on pushing. Nothing gonna be easy. If you serve Yahweh, because this world is not yours, nothing gonna be easy. But keep on pushing. Learn how to do push up. Yes, come on. Come on, Israel. Yes, no matter where you are. Never give up. Never look back. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise be to I'm free. I'm free. Hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh. Say you are free by the blood of Yahshua Amasia. If Yahshua set me free, he can set you free tonight. I believe and the faith. Faith with me out of faith is dead. And the faith. If you have the faith, it's not as the monster seed. You can tell the mountain to go, and the mountain will obey to you. Come on. Yes. Thank you, 
Thank you for the I'm going to farm. There is no way I can look back. No way. No way to look back. It don't it don't just work. It don't work to look back. Never look back. Oh yeah. Thank you, Abba Yahweh. To the Rabba Yahweh. Yes. Thank you, Abba Yahweh. Thank you, Abba Yahweh. Yes, I'm free by the grace, by the mercy of Yahweh to Yahshua Abashia. I'm free. I see you next time. To the Rabba Yahweh. Savoie Tov. May Abba Yahweh bless you in the name of Yahshua.